scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Make sure you are praying in the spirit. Tonight is my night of encounter. My life is changing in the name of Jesus Christ. Please make sure you are praying. It must be unto me according to your word. It must be unto my destiny according to your word. Mary said, be it unto me according to your word. Can you pray that prayer? Lord, it must be unto my destiny according to your word. It must be unto my life according to your word. It must be unto my spirit according to your word. Your word is reliable. Hallelujah. I'd like you to prophesy to your destiny tonight and command it to hear the word of the Lord. Command that your destiny must make progress. Please speak. You are a speaking spirit. Open your mouth and speak. In the name of Jesus, I speak. I speak over my destiny. You hear the word of the Lord. The Bible says he upholds all things by the word of his power. He upholds all things by the word of his power. Nothing short of beauty and glory. I declare, I prophesy. Hallelujah. I want you to pray one last prayer and then we'll sit. The word must walk in my life. Listen, listen, hold on. The Bible said the seed is the word of God. It was sown in three different kinds of soils it was sown but not all of them had a harvest why because between the seed time and harvest an enemy came he didn't do anything to the soil he only did something to the seed i like you to declare the problem is never the seed i command the soil of my spirit you must receive seed and it must yield a harvest lift your voice and pray a harvest whose profiting will appear unto all Are you praying? Please don't be distracted. Pray, pray. Don't look around. Pray. 
I speak to the soil of my spirit. You receive the word of God and you yield a hundredfold. I declare you receive the word of God and you yield a hundredfold. You receive the word of God. We release the sound of the heavens, the sound of creation, Yahweh. We release the sound of the heavens, the sound of creation, Yahweh. I release the sound of the heavens, the sound of creation, Yahweh. I release the sound of the heavens, the sound of creation, Yahweh. I cry holy, holy, holy unto Yeshua. I sing holy, holy, holy unto Yeshua. be seated holy spirit we have come before you tonight we cry for understanding there is nothing we can know except you open up our understanding lord i pray for those here and the thousands of people around the nations of the earth following i pray that your word will prevail in a mighty way tonight for your suit he's not looking for your tie all that is nonsense what will he do with your suit and your tie He's not even looking for your destiny. He knows that anything minus the word is equal to nothing. For nothing was made that was not made by him. Are we together now? The Bible says in the beginning, listen carefully. It didn't say in the beginning was a formula. In the beginning was the word. And that word was with God. And that word was God. He said he was with God in the beginning. Then he says through him all things were made. And he says nothing including a destiny. Nothing was made that was not by him. So Satan knows that the making factor in men's lives is the word. So when he comes to this gentleman. He doesn't have any business with your tie or whatever. He looks for where the word is. And the Bible says Satan cometh immediately. If Satan steals the word from you, you will pass him and he will pass you. He has no business with you again. It is the one thing that he will seek and fight for. Show me a man, my brothers and my sisters, listen very carefully. No matter what Satan has done in your life, if the word of God can come upon you, if the word of God can be understood and received and diligently applied with faith, you will make nonsense out of the devil. It's only a matter of time. Is someone getting what I'm saying? Because you see, we have to be careful. Church people right now don't grow again because we are used to the religious activity of the world. We come and sit down and our Bibles, we are writing notes that can change our lives. 
but there is a demon of religion sitting on people many people have written their miracles in their jota and yet they remain in bondage many have written the formula for their lifting and yet it looks like heavens are closed many have written the formula for their prosperity many have written the formula that will wipe the tears of their family the bible says ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth so don't get used to religion oh it's time for the word oh yeah let's judge acts chapter this we write if it's a nice word you say mm, preach preacher and all those kinds of things we share the grace and people go back and nothing changes let me tell you religion is a demon it's not just a wrong philosophy i believe there is a spirit of religion that makes people hang around god but never benefit from him are we together now yes you can get so used to do i invited sister a i invited brother b and you sit down and don't get blessed yourself or i am a worker you can be standing behind the mic singing when i raise a song and the revelation that can transform your destiny comes and you sing it out of your life while you are not listening and focusing so we have to be sensitive my brothers and my sisters god is not a magician there is an exact way men are raised in this kingdom can you cry in one minute again and say i cause distraction from my life lord whatever it is that makes that i do not understand you can imagine how brilliant people are but the moment the word comes they become unfruitful to it that means it's an attack i don't believe anybody here is dull some of us academically speaking we are very sound people but the moment it comes to the issue of the word, there is an attack. Please pray. Please pray. Please pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This kingdom life that we are living is a supernatural life. And it's a life that will continue to call for contention. That is the reason why you can finish an encyclopedia but not be able to read 100 pages from your Bible. What is so difficult about this thing that you cannot read is because there is a spirit behind it. I can give you a novel that is twice this page and some of you will finish it in one week and you don't have time. It's not that you sit down and you will keep reading and within one week you are done but you pick this to read and see what happens you will it will be a miracle if you cross 10 pages of this doesn't matter what part that means there is a spirit that opens this for you it's amazing how you can sit down and open your bible and open side by side with even a christian book and you would rather read the christian book nothing is wrong with it you are reading it but just to sit and read this one raw every demon from hell will fight you because this word you see let me tell you whether you understand what he's saying or not the moment your eyes make contact with this word something starts happening to your spirit and that's the reason why when the word of god is about being taught somebody who already slept in the afternoon the spirit of slumber just comes on the person you see that as soon as the service is over he can stand behind a car and discuss politics for two hours so it was never about tiredness it was about an attack on the word you heard the testimony of the dear lady here she came and sat down as soon as praise and worship was over the fire from the praise and worship made those spirits you see evil spirits are real please let's 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 not fool ourselves let us know this world we live in we are not alone are we together that you sit down from the start to the finish of a service is a miracle it's a sign that god is doing something in your life you see people you see what happens during miracle service the moment prayers are about to offer you want to ease yourself you want to do something ah, i feel uncomfortable it's a lie it's an agitation these spirits are seeing beyond dimensions that your eyes can see so they know what is happening in the realm of the spirit 
as the power of God is about to be released and they will cause every discomfort some of you who drag people here to come and repent notice how well behaved they are as soon as the praise and worship starts they just say I, I, I'm tired I want to go it's a lie they are not tired the spirit that needs to be casted out you see that let me tell you my brothers and my sisters if someone invites you here and you ever get to this ground or connect it's a sign that your miracle has started because the kind of attack you try it one day and you will see that somebody who would ordinarily give you money will say sorry i don't have any money for anything just to leave kaduna and come it's an attack are we together now but you have a responsibility to refuse the will of man is respected even by demons yes sir if god respects your will then every other force on earth must respect your will if they usurp your will they manipulated you in a way that allowed them to find expression i set before you life and death i set before you blessing and cursing i can't force you i can only advise you choose life you don't choose life just by verbalizing it you choose life by paying the price to sit down and do the things that minister life are we together mm. help us tonight holy spirit in the name of jesus some of you here need to go on a project just gather strategic koinonia messages that relate to certain areas in your life the media will be more than glad to help you are we together you put these teachings together and you go on a word fast let me tell you what that means you will eat there are many kinds of fasting most people only know the one that you suspend eating for 12 hours or some days but there is a way you can go on a movie fast that means you off every movie you can go on a phone fast off your phone it's, it's a way of fasting are we together and then you can have time for the word that the only thing your ear hears for a whole day is a message not somebody calling you ah how are you mm -mm. the only thing that you hear aside from bikes driving themselves out is the word of god you sit down and say lord my life must change what is the key you hear one message you hear part of the key it can be a message you've always had but now because you are giving god your attention fire comes from heaven and that's it you catch something you will come out of that place knowing that i've gotten this when you say it, they will laugh at you until the results bail you out please give your destiny time you heard what the dear lady said wonderful lady by the way i'm busy nobody is busy it's a lie we are looking for something nobody is busy if you're on your way going to kaduna this night and i say hold on somebody wants to give you one million are you busy talk to me no so the idea of being busy means i have not yet come to an understanding that the word of god is profitable so please let me leave it aside while i look for the things that look profitable nobody leaves what gives you profit so if you do not have time for the word it's a revelation it's a sign that in your dealings with god you have not been quickened to a point where you have seen the value and the profitability of the word of god so you can throw away the word of god and watch film i'm, I'm not please don't get me wrong i'm not against movies but i'm telling you there is a devil out there that is demeaning the power of the word of god and we choke all kinds of things in our heads and we teach spirits come create fortifications and then this is what we say because we believe that just hanging around the word of god will produce result we will get angry and say i've done everything i know to do you see that i've done everything i prayed every prayer i attended this i even fasted god is unfair it's not true everybody that gives god time must get something from him if you give me time your life will never be the same give satan time your life will never be the same one of the reasons why we never see his outstretched arm is because we don't give god time i'm busy 
I'm too busy. I'm, I'm busy. It's demonic. My soul, wait thou upon the Lord. Because my brothers and my sisters, all that we are looking for, one visitation from God can give you something that in a lifetime you may never get. Preacher, say it, but it is true. I will search for you and I will find you. And I will find you with all my heart. I will lift my hands to you in worship. And I will worship with all my heart. We will search for you and we will find you. We will find you. With all our hearts, we will lift our hands to you in worship, and we will worship with all our hearts. One more time, let me just sing the song that I will search for you, and I will find you, I will find you. With all my love, and I will lift my voice to you in worship. I will worship with all my heart. I want you to sit quietly tonight and listen to what I want to teach you. Sit with your soul your spirit your ears and listen god knows ask him that i love you with all my heart my philosophy of leadership is that you are a failed leader until the people you lead become exceptionally successful by every standard are we together now so it doesn't matter whether it's a revelation yet to me i must insist until it speaks in your life because you see, the Bible says wisdom is justified by her children. By her children. Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For those of you worshipping for the first time, God bless you. We we'll honor you at the end of the service. For now, let's get to the word of God. Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. Genesis 2, verse 15. Genesis 2, verse 15. What is this that I see? I command that spirit to live now. I command, the Lord just showed me something. I command that spirit. You just allow me to do my madness. I command that spirit. You must let this family go now. I command that spirit. You must let this family go now. The Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. It says and where the spirit of the Lord is. The same, I'm seeing two people to overflow one. I command that spirit to go now. You are leading right now. This chain that has held this family is time for them to testify. I command that spirit to lead in the name of Jesus Christ. I command that spirit to lead. There is still one more person. The Lord is not allowing me to continue. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to lead. You have to go. This is Mount Zion. Shakaporu sikatala hasiada. You know, one of the things that happens, let me teach you something. Do you know when God opens your eyes in the spirit, you will be able to know when, let me tell you what happens. When God opens my eyes now in the spirit, 
I will not only see an individual sitting, I will also see the spirits connected to them. You see? Yes. And usually, because the eye is the light of the body, once there is that contact, there is an agitation in the realm of the spirit. And that's why sometimes someone can just be looking quietly and start shouting. The individual doesn't know what just transacted in the realm of the spirit. Remember the demons looked at Jesus and they saw the body of a 33 year old young man but when they look they say ah no are you not and jesus said keep quiet so you can see beyond just an individual sitting that's what just happened now you'll be surprised now these people will come and testify and tell you for 10 years nobody has risen in our family and that's it genesis chapter 2 and verse 15 Please follow me carefully. Let's see how God will grant us grace to make progress. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress and to keep it. 16. And the Lord God commanded the man saying, listen, of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. 17. But of the tree of the knowledge, the tree of the knowledge, not a knowledge, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil shall thou not eat. For in the day that you eatest thereof, you will die. Now listen carefully. Jesus is giving a disclaimer here. He's giving man access to the garden. Are we together now? And he's giving man a disclaimer that in this garden there are many trees. I give you access to partake. The word eat there doesn't just mean eat alone. It means to partake of the benefits that come with that privilege. He says that there is a kind of tree that he forbids. It's amazing that even the tree that is forbidden has good now listen carefully the tree has what yet is part of the forbidden tree so he says this tree doesn't have evil alone there are many good things that can come from this tree yet there is a reason why I forbid you from partaking and this is the reason that the day you eat that tree, regardless of the good it carries, that day you will die. Look up. The day man ate of this, did he die? In as much as we know death. Adam did not die. Eve did not die. That means he was talking about something else. In the day, not in the month, Remember until this time he had created time and seasons. So he says in the day, the moment you partake this, death starts for you. Listen carefully. And then, in spite of the fact that it comes with good, notice the marketing system of the tree. It projects good first, then evil. Not evil and good. The character of this tree is such that when you come, you will never know there is evil on it. The system is good and evil. Even God acknowledges that the tree had good. Are we together now? Genesis chapter 3. We'll read from verse 1. Let's see to verse 7 very quickly. And then we'll have a very serious discussion tonight and pray. The Lord is giving us wisdom. Verse 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, listen, Satan is talking now. Yea, had God said, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Verse 2. And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Verse 3. But the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. Because the woman was not there when God was telling the man, this tree has good and evil. Adam just told her that this is a tree in the midst of the garden. And so she's replying Satan now. God had said, ye shall not eat 
neither shall ye touch lest ye die for and the serpent said to the woman ye shall not surely die for God don't know so we are talking of knowledge here remember now the tree of the knowledge the tree of the knowledge there is knowledge in the tree the central thing there is knowledge not fruit knowledge the tree of the knowledge are we together now if you have the tree of the knowledge of banana that tree will not when you eat banana from that tree it teaches you something the tree is a lecturer the fruit in the tree can teach men certain things are you getting what i'm saying now and now he's saying that god knows that in the day remember all of this will happen in a day both the death and this that you eat thereof the first thing is that your eyes shall be opened that means a kind of illumination will come to you and then ye shall be as what as gods knowing good and evil wow that means one characteristic feature between gods is that they have a supply of knowledge and the power to use that knowledge to produce good to produce evil are we together now that whoever can manipulate knowledge and bring an outcome of good and manipulate knowledge and bring an outcome of evil is no longer a man he didn't say he's the God of heaven but he said this one is not man are you getting the discussion now knowing good and evil verse 6 and when the woman saw that the tree was what now notice she didn't see anything evil again the tree is walking now this is how the tree works what did the woman see good for food and it was pleasant to the eyes and the tree desired to make one wise what kind of wisdom we don't know but we know that there is wisdom in the tree she took off the fruit thereof and did eat and gave unto her husband with her and he did eat you see that Adam was there with her next verse and truly like Satan said the eyes of them both were what? open so he didn't entirely lie he said this tree can open your eyes but he didn't say what that open eye will do and so their eyes were open and they knew that they were naked and they sowed fig leaves and all of that and all of that now when you read all the drama that happened when God came down and said man what is happening he said this woman blah 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 just let's go to verse 11 I'll read just verse 11 and then I'll begin to teach and he said who told you that you were naked then he said hast thou because this knowledge you should not have gotten it there is no way as a man without an assistance your knowledge is limited although you are a man without sin this should not be given to you then he says have you eaten of the tree and he says I commanded you not to eat you read on and he said the woman you put the woman said the serpent and he was angry and began to curse them but something interesting happened he said man has become like one of us just follow me man has become like one of us I thought the Bible says he created man image and after his likeness now God is saying something is wrong man has become like one of us and for that we will not allow him in this state to eat of the tree of life again because if he takes of the tree of life you know the tree of life was designed to keep you living in whatever state you are so now that this guy's the whole plan has been corrupted if we allow him to eat of the tree of life then redemption will no longer be possible so let's drive him out so that it can be possible to redeem this man are we together now please sit down right from genesis we see 
that there is a fight for knowledge the bible tells us that the first three listen carefully the first three was not called the tree of the knowledge of life it was called the tree of life but the second tree works by giving men information that it supplies you an information that gives your life good but with it eventually it destroys you are we together now Jesus there is a tree of the knowledge of good and evil that is interwoven in this system this cosmos that we live in please listen very carefully many people like Eve have not received the miracle of understanding to discern that the trees that they continue to partake of are poisonous trees that are ministering death to their destinies and death to their lives and so my exhortation really tonight is a wake-up call to open your eyes to something very deep about the destruction that is happening to many people that they do not know they continue to die daily not as paul said by their continual connection with this tree and that you will never be able to do much for the kingdom until you understand this in the name of jesus christ i look at lives today as a man of god i look at people's destinies and i see certain results in their lives that i wonder how those kinds of results would have been produced are you getting what i'm saying now yes i know that these results are a product of a philosophy a product of an ideology that has been sold by a system that has been sold by a sociological context that does not honor god nor have regard for the ways of god are we together now remember the tree of life based the tree of the knowledge of good and evil the bible tells us it is very tempting when the woman saw it there was an attraction are we together now many people's lives today have become a mess and has become complicated i am almost afraid when i look at our society today and look at the level of confusion the level of aimlessness that surrounds the lives of people people are almost clueless about everything in life the young and the old alike the rich and the poor alike and we do not know the source of this confusion i want to show you tonight if i can successfully show you and we pray my assignment tonight has been fulfilled are we together colossians chapter 2 blessed be the name of the lord we'll read verse 8 colossians chapter 2 and verse 8 read with me please look up one to read beware lest any man spoil you through what philosophy uh-huh and vain deceit after the traditions of men here's my key point and after the methodology the modus operandi the system of this world the greek word here is aeon an age and a mindset that is brought with that age that do not let the word spoiled there is plunder take advantage of do not let any man take advantage of you through philosophy through vain deceit through the traditions of men after the methodology there is a system that this world operates listen carefully there is a way and manner that has been sold humanity as a race have been scammed by a system a system that has advocated a way of life and a template of living and the bible says that compared to god's standard that template 
is wrong. Now, but it's very difficult because the character of that tree is that it has good. And we live in a society where we are governed by results, which is an advantage for Satan. Because then he can project the good that comes with that system. And with it, he can buy the loyalty of people. By the time you can prove to me that a method is working, regardless of the side effects. Are we together now? We have products right now that are 60% um, 60 potent in their result. And we believe that those products are enough and we sell them. So we live in a world where once there is an evidence that something works, we package it and we go mainstream and we market it to people. But we do not know that that good, the Bible says, that on the, is a strategy that Satan projects the good in every evil thing. No evil thing comes as evil. Even Satan comes as an angel of light. Are you getting me now? So the character of evil is such that it projects the good first. So that you are baited by that good. Like you dangle a worm attempting to catch a fish. And the fish comes hoping to eat the worm. Not knowing that there is a hook behind. Are we together now? And then that fish is caught up by the hook. That don't let any man spoil you. There is a philosophy in this world. There is a philosophy in this age that when men subscribe to, the Bible says the side effect is that it is as though an armed bandit came to your house and plundered you. The confusion that is in people's lives today on almost every subject matter is a call for concern that we must get back to understanding the disaster that is encapsulated in the tree of the knowledge of good and evil now society may not agree government may not agree because there are statistics to show that the tree has good are we together now so when you tell somebody come my dear when you tell someone um give your life to jesus and throw away some of the herbal things that were used in your village this lady will prove to you how that herbal medicine healed five people are you getting what i'm saying now everybody say good shout it again say good and the lady would tell you she's on five points now because they said any time is time for exam rob that thing before you go to the exam hall and my goodness did it work so now that lady will not listen to your proposition to say I should throw it. Is it just because it has a little side effect? The benefits outweigh the side effects, she will say. The same way you say salt, one pinch of salt cannot affect a whole you know, bowl of soup. You don't put the same size of vegetables as you do the salt. Yet, sometimes just for putting a little more, you can completely ruin that soup. That's how evil is. Evil does not have to be the same size with good. It just has to be present sufficient enough to create an effect. Are you getting me now? You are not the only one who is salt. Evil too is salt. Are you getting what I'm saying? You are not the only one who is salt. Evil too is salt. That's why the Bible says a little living. A little not much a little please follow me very carefully this lady now can serve god but she will hold on to her charms because if the charms were 100 percent failed she would throw it obviously the devil knows nobody ever working with the devil has 100 percent evil no he doesn't work that way he's smart enough to know Ask an Ambroba why he's still stealing. He will tell you the last stealing. My God, we had 11 million. And that 11 million changed our life. I even gave tight. It looks good. Ask him now to stop stealing. The memory of the 11 million will make sure he goes back to steal. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Evil blatantly 
will usually drive you away but the good component in it is what will give you the staying power to remain so the bible says do not eat of that tree of good and evil there are philosophies my brothers and my sisters listen carefully there are mindsets there are belief systems that we have adopted that come with this age the bible tells us they are traceable to a tree they are traceable to a root that markets good to men and at the end destroys them thank you my dear the bible tells us again that this system that we live in has something called the wisdom of this age the wisdom of this age first corinthians chapter 2 i'm just trying to gather my scriptures before i begin to build you will be so blessed first corinthians chapter 2 paul is teaching the church in corinth and here's what he says first corinthians chapter 2 verse 6 how be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect and so you are not confused Paul now begins to distinguish what that wisdom is that kind he says yet not the wisdom of that means this world has its own kind of wisdom wisdom by its character produces results it doesn't matter what kind of wisdom are we together now but the bible is saying there is wisdom that is not the wisdom of god it is the wisdom of this world there is even the wisdom that is the wisdom of the princes of this world hmm. but the bible says all of them come to naught what does that mean that means the end of them is death is destruction the wisdom of this world the wisdom of the princes of this world that we pride ourselves in that we build the entire philosophy of our lives the bible says that wisdom whoever walks with that dimension of knowledge doom and destruction is inevitable look at me please most of the issues in our world today are only symptoms of a bigger problem are we together most of the issues in our world today the issues that we face that we we believe are the issues that are depriving man and mankind from his dignity most of them are only symptoms of a bigger issue the same way someone can have headache and a doctor can say no this is not headache it is malaria the headache is a symptom of something meaning if you take panadol it may give you a temporary relief but you are not going to be healed from that malaria until you are properly treated we spend our time addressing symptoms we write books about symptoms listen carefully we hold conferences on symptoms and very few people are willing to go to the root and deal with the foundation that brings about this, this tragic problem of mankind. The ideas of this world have made our lives complicated. The life of the average person living in today's world is as complicated as a gadget this wisdom we have adopted like a virus they have created a web of complication they have robbed us of the simplicity of life destroyed everything about us family life has been broken down to nonsense the dignity of responsibility has been broken down to nonsense meritocracy godliness all of these virtues that build up society and advance men they had been attacked for many years and now we are seeing the effect we have enjoyed the good of that tree for a long time 
and right now people are beginning to see the evil you are trying to run away but the tree said you received all of me you received the advancement that i gave you you received the technology that i gave you are we together now you received all of the enlightenment that i gave you now the other side of the equation is opening up and the war the crime the decadence and people are saying what kind of world are we in not knowing that is a food we ate and now we are paying for everything and let me tell you my brothers and my sisters that tree is continuing to dangle every day if we keep eating of that tree it will not only kill us it will kill our children and our children's children we have been so sucked into this system we do not even know we are in deception you can be so deceived and misled that you are not even aware that is deception under development security issues marital issues financial issues joblessness all of these things are symptoms of subscribing to a philosophy and a way of life that is antichrist and not built on life that tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil it was just a diplomatic way to say the tree of life and a tree of death because the end of it is death there is a way that cement right to a man he says but the end thereof are the ways of death as i counsel people i am coming to the conclusion that if we do not re-examine our philosophies there is no hope this issue is bigger than counseling this issue is bigger than laying on of hands this issue is bigger than a church service or a conference this is a deception that is institutional and it will take people who understand the holy spirit listen carefully people who understand the ways of god to summon the courage to say no something is wrong my grandfather followed this way my father followed this way now a system is forcing me to follow that way and you turn and say no way and receive the courage to fight to victory the contentions that will come by your refusal to eat of that tree write this down the world system that advocates this tree of good and evil thrives on three major things the world system that means the antichrist system of operation unfortunately that our society is built upon thrives on three things number one on godliness on godliness today's world our civilization today is against godliness let me explain to you what that means that means to do well in today's world it is mandatory you must act like there's no god are you getting what i'm just saying now if you want to do well in today's world you have to indoctrinate yourself and culture yourself into acting as though god does not exist and the world today will applaud you that means that this babylonian system this tree of the knowledge of good and evil is strangling away god consciousness from all of us and from the fabric of society the world system thrives on godlessness that means that the more you are aligned to this world it will make you in a way and manner that you do not see value for god again by destroying every christian monument in schools for instance that can help men be aware are we together now all those things are strategies to make sure that our children the same way this little boy now does not know what a typewriter looks like that is the same way one day people will not know anything about god you will say in the beginning was the word they said is that a novel they say what do you mean is that a novel that's king james they say well i'm not aware of what you are saying that is the goal of this system that a day will come 
when when you say bible study it's like you are telling a child lemonade and he says what is that what is bible sir i don't know what bible is and you say it's a book that contains the words of god he said who is god we will get there if a church does if the church does not rise and listen to what i'm telling you Today you have a program on TV, you mention Jesus or mention God, they edit it. But they can leave explicit words in movies even for children. Don't mind that rating thing they write. That means something is wrong. And the church is watching and we do not understand that we are being forced to eat from the tree that contains good and evil. Ungodliness right now this is not this is not a generation of ignorance again Satan has stopped using ignorance as a strategy this generation is too enlightened to entertain ignorance so he has started marketing this good and evil it's difficult to keep someone ignorant now because this is an inquisitive generation they want to know and so Satan says instead of hiding the knowledge let's not hide it again let us corrupt it and market it so knowledge is available and affordable but largely let me tell you my brothers and my sisters over 70 percent of the information that mold and make the mind of people is a Babylonian information that contains good and evil are we together you hear what they teach your children in school on one side you are happy that the children are learning biology but on the other side you know you are in trouble because good and evil are you get what i'm saying now yes ungodliness we have to preserve god consciousness and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil will never never preserve god consciousness when I was growing up, 90% of our discussions were around school and God. That was it. Right now, the average young child, the average teenager will talk about applications, apps, almost a thousand times before anything spiritual will be mentioned. Not God. Most young people are now spiritual and are now sociological, not spiritual they are doing everything that's why they are promoting all the human activities that neutralize god consciousness like sports like music these are platforms that um that is 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 is, is very very is very very civil and so it doesn't allow the things of god are you getting what i'm saying now it's a strategy and god is waking us up on godliness number two This tree of the knowledge of good and evil that makes up the world system operates by distorting spiritual patterns. Write it down. This system operates by distorting spiritual patterns. Is one of the most dangerous effects of this wisdom of the world. It distorts spiritual patterns. I want you to listen carefully. Isaiah chapter 5. We'll read from verse 20 to 24. Isaiah 5, 20. Read with me. We're reading from 20 to 24. One to read. Woe to them that call evil good. Talk to me. And good evil that put darkness for light. Uh-huh. And light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter what kind of a generation is this that replaces everything is an overhaul nothing was spared if it is good this society calls it evil if it is light they call it darkness if it is sweet they call it bitter verse 22 21 woe to them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight uh-huh 
Woe to them that are mighty to drink wine and men of strength to mingle strong drink. 23. We justify the wicked for reward and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. Do you know what this means? That means they force you through their life and they compel you to bend until you are out of God's pattern. He said they take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. So you send your child to school as a responsible young boy from a Christian family and a system has been built. By the time that boy is three years in that school, it has taken away the righteousness from the righteous. Four. Next verse. Therefore, as fire devoured the stubble and flame consumed the chaff, so shall their root be as rottenness, and their blossom shall go up as dust. Notice that they once blossomed, but the Bible says it will go up as dust. Because they have cast away the law of the Lord of hosts and despised the word of the Holy One of Israel. In God's design, and in his dealings with men, he always creates patterns. Listen carefully. God's patterns are his methodology, his way of achieving his will. It is not enough to obey God. We must understand his pattern. There is a pattern for wealth and finance in the kingdom. There is a pattern for marriage in the kingdom. There is a pattern for ministry. There is a pattern for success. But now we have a system that is forcing an ideology and even upon believers that makes us to violate patterns. Are we together now? One of our dear ladies here, she may be following online. I think a few, a few maybe about a month ago, she left for the US. And when she got to the US, I think it was just like a few days or a week, she just called me. And I know there are people from U.S. following, so I, I, I don't mean to insult any culture. But she told me that, Apostle, there's, there's something wrong. She said, my roommates are all lesbians. And there is a problem. If I'm not mistaken, I hope I'm right. Because she said it's like they are supposed to be believers. And now she has to relate with them. Because there is not like here. Just for showing any sign of um discrimination as it were they can sue you and of course if you are not not a citizen of that nation they can take you out immediately and this lady was confused completely confused and saying what is all this i come from a place in zaria where even the person who is not doing well can be a pastor somewhere else and now i'm faced with roommates that are vocally part of a system let me tell you I don't mean to insult anyone but I told you most of those things are symptoms of a problem the problem is that we have deviated from God's pattern are you getting what I'm saying now? yes the divorce rate in marriages is something that is scary including Christian marriages one out of every two marriages will not last ten years now please don't feel bad if anything has happened to your marriage I'm teaching here are you getting what I'm saying do you know why because two of you come husband and wife people have created their own patterns call good evil and evil good it was God who defined how marriage works society has now mentored people into creating their own laws about marriage is it not arrogant for you to come and meet something and not consult the person who created it and change the laws. It's like coming to my house and meet my tap running and I come back and see that you've rewired the tap to the back of the house. By what authority did you do this? In my house? So we have done it in ways that we cannot imagine. In my, my laptop, I have the photo of a woman who married sardine big sardine not the small one you use yes sir yes sir are we together side by side you see them there i have it in my laptop 
Now, let me tell you this. Believers who are civilized people, I'm not, I'm not those kind of people that would teach you to not, not, no, no, no. But I'm saying something is wrong. We have to admit that something is wrong. Are we together now? These people have their ideas. They have money, they have everything, yet the marriage does not work. And they are wondering because everybody, the Babylonian system has indoctrinated this lady. You are not under any man, you are a lady, you are, you know, you are a wonderful person. Don't let any man look down on you. Society is these men are looking down on women, this and that. And the lady says, Yes, if it's because of your money, I will get my own job. I will buy my own car. I can be lord of myself. If you drive me, I can go and get my three-bedroom flat. We think it's a nice thing. Because if a lady proposes this in the world, they clap for you. They stand up and wave their hands. And God sits on his throne and says, this is not what I designed. What are you designing like this? Already as I'm saying it, you see how surprised me. How many of you have been sucked into it? As I'm saying it now, it's paining you. Which is a sign that God is delivering you. Because already... You can see how the thing has sucked us. And then the men, we have our own. We are even the ones that are more sucked into this thing. Because we need money, we need to provide. And we have deviated from God's pattern completely. Right now, respect in marriage is based on who is richer. Not what God said. I'm working, I'm earning 30,000. You are earning 10,000. You are not worth my respect. And society says, yes. One, one life coach somewhere who is not born again, has never read the Bible, is now writing books and pushing it to the church because they know we buy everything. Are we together? Yes. Something is wrong. A distortion of patterns. Let me tell you why patterns are important. Because patterns forerun the glory. When patterns are violated, the glory will never be seen. Never be seen. There are ways today, my brothers and my sisters, I don't say this in any sarcastic way, but there are ways. Go for pastor's conferences and see how they teach men to raise money to run churches. You will be amazed and you will be surprised because there is a pattern. A Babylonian system is marketing a strategy. Remember that the ark of God was supposed to be carried by a formula. A man decided to invent a system to say, let's, let's make it easier for men. And that man died. What did he do that was wrong? He only changed patterns. It was violation of pattern that made a man lose his throne. Saul in the Bible. It was not in his office to offer sacrifices. But because Samuel was wasting time and the people started putting pressure on Saul. Saul said, what nonsense is this priesthood thing? Get me everything. Let me offer sacrifices. As soon as he offered sacrifices, Samuel came and said, what have you done? He said, you have done foolishly. You would have allowed me to come and do this and God would have established your throne forever. But now that you have done this, your throne is taken away from you. And Samuel tried to weep and cry. And God, who is full of mercy, said, How long will you weep? Seeing that I've rejected Saul as king. In other words, this guy is out of my program. God, your God. Every time, the reason why we never see the glory of God in our churches, we never see the glory of God in our families, could it be that we are there eating of the tree? of the knowledge of the of good and evil and is indoctrinating us to act and believe in ways that are violating god's pattern gideon began to cry and told the angel he said why do we not see the miracles that our fathers told us and he began to tell gideon there are idols there are things to be destroyed when it was time for elijah to command fire from heaven he didn't just say fire come he said set me 12 altars there is a pattern set me 12 altars put water on it put this and fire came cain and abel offered sacrifices one was accepted one was rejected god is not only the god of the heavens he's a god of patterns god looks at how you did it not just that you did it hmm. patterns thank you Martin. exodus chapter 25 
we'll read verse 9 and then we'll read verse 20 very quickly please God is taking us somewhere tonight according to all that I showed thee listen after the pattern of the tabernacle this was the building of the tabernacle in the wilderness and God was instructing Moses that according to all that I showed you after the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all the instruments thereof so shall thou make it in other words it was not Moses's idea a blueprint was given his assignment was to replicate it there are many things see in your dealing with God you will not need too much of creativity you will need obedience it is when you are executing his will on earth that you will need in your dealing with God there are few things that will be your idea I know we don't like this how you know you are working with God is that a major part of your dealing is yes sir yes sir when it becomes in my opinion that's not God you are working with hmm. creativity is not for the secret place creativity is a system of dominion you don't bring creativity when you are in the secret place it is obedience it is your heart opening to say Lord not my will but your will be done Exodus 25 25 verse 40 and look that thou make them after what their pattern which was shown you not which you guessed not which you guessed a pattern was shown you make sure that you make it after their pattern very quickly give us chapter 40 and verse 16 40 and verse 16 I'm showing you that God is a God of patterns. 40 and verse 16. Read with me, please. One to read. Thus did Moses, uh -huh, according to all that the Lord commanded him. Go to verse 33. We are reading now verse 33 to 35. It says, and he read up the court. He's about to finish now. Listen carefully. Round about the tabernacle and the altar and set up the hanging of the court gate read the last sentence everyone one to go so Moses finished the work he finished everything according to pattern next verse and then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation God supervised until he followed the patterns to the dot when Moses finished the work he said God I finished God said I'm ready to come the cloud covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of God filled the tabernacle next verse and Moses was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation why because the cloud abode thereon and the glory of God filled it if the glory of God is not upon your church could there be an explanation that something in the building or the system of that church is disaligned with divine patterns because if it is built according to pattern the glory of God is like a stamp you obeyed to the latter if I look at your family and I do not see the glory of God there is a pattern that you are not following are we together now I can look at your family and I see chaos here and there husband beating wife wife beating husband I must kill you I tell you someone is violating patterns if both people walk with divine patterns there will be glory that means the glory of God is also a confirmation that his patterns have been duly followed every time you finish that which you do it's important to look around and find out where is the glory of God in it as proof that this was done according to pattern Could it be that the joblessness that is plaguing young people in Nigeria, could it be the reason why many of us are languishing in certain intense levels of hardship? We may be well-meaning, but could it be that we are violating divine patterns? Everybody say patterns. Say it again, say patterns. So the tree of the knowledge of good and evil causes you to be distorted from God's pattern. 
there is a way God designed that marriage happens if you have to go on Facebook and WhatsApp to start doing this you may get a beast who is first a man before he becomes a beast which is consistent with the way that tree works is first good before evil so you meet somebody on Facebook and he says I'll go and see your parents you are the lily of the valley are we together now and that person later becomes the beast of your destiny why because patterns God designed marriage come please to be one man and one woman don't feel bad by the time this guy says one woman is not enough and brings another woman everybody say patterns patterns start fighting from the realm of the spirit because the way God designed this thing is such that one woman the woman has to be alone for you to see the best of her in marriage by the time it is now two or ten or five something must go wrong it doesn't matter what they sign patterns have been distorted are we together when a man of 50 years old is writing Waek, everybody say patterns have been distorted. Now, listen, I'm not, I'm not being sarcastic. I'm saying that it is usual for that man to not concentrate. He is not supposed to be that alert and focused just like that. Because that longevity of time has accommodated too many things that are more serious than the subject matter so it is good that a young man bear his yoke in his youth lamentation chapter 3 that god says young men walk your walks while it is day night will come when you cannot walk it's a pattern starting early in life is a pattern that's why when the spirit of delay comes upon a family it makes sure that the first person is in is writing ssc at 25 it's not about delay satan is doing everything to make you go out of pattern it is why god in his mercy introduced a mystery called restoration are you seeing that now restoration is doing something to your life to bring you back in pattern when a woman has been barren and she's 60 years old with no child the devil knows that according to the normal course of life there will be a problem giving birth or at least giving birth to a very healthy child are you seeing that now satan knows that god is a god of patterns and so he supplies us knowledge that makes us to be and act in ways that continue to be defiant to God's pattern because his advantage in our life is that when we are out of pattern he doesn't need to pray against us the glory was designed to locate patterns and confirm it is God speaking to us I'd like you to look at your family as you are sitting down and suddenly realize that could this be why we never saw the hand of God in our family we were Christians oh my father my mother loved God served God with all his and her heart Lord why is this family this way why are we not seeing your glory I'm showing you we are eating of a tree and the more we keep eating of that tree every time the glory comes to your house it cannot rest and the glory continues to search for a resting place and sometimes it will wait for one full generation until you arrive that's why some of you are standing up to say lord that glory must rest that glory has been hovering around my family since 1951 and nobody has aligned enough to allow that glory come lord see he said lord and now arise oh lord he said come to your resting place until then god said i don't have a place to rest and solomon said no way we have to make for you make for you a place i can tell you i understand a bit about the glory of god i know why many people do not experience the glory 
there are spiritual patterns. Babylon. You eat of that tree. Notice what happened to Adam. As soon as they ate of the tree, what happened? The glory lifted. It was the glory that covered them. They didn't even know whether they were naked or not. They didn't need clothes because the Shekinah of God covered them. As soon as they ate of that tree, imagine that every day you are eating of that tree. Think of what is happening to your life and think of what you are programming for your children's children already. So every time our fathers kept bowing in that shrine, they thought they were just paying homage. But something, Ichabod, the glory continued to move back and back and back and back and back. By the time you came to the scene, there was no glory again. Eleven ladies, beautiful ladies, no man to marry them. Thirteen ladies, no child. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, it's not just about prayer. When we return to the pattern, it's with a rush. The glory will come. When Moses finished, not when he started, God kept watching. Finish it and let my glory come. You know, from my paternal side, I never saw any blessed person. I think the most blessed person was my dad. And it's not like he was any blessing. I said, what kind of cause is this? How can you be so hardworking and love God? My father was a very honest man, loved God, but I, I said, no, no. Someone has to be angry oh, this night and say, no, my family has been eating from a tree. Eating from the tree can mean bowing to an idol. Eating from the tree can be an indoctrination that your salary is where your wealth is. You think it's a nice statement, but it's something that has been sold to you. So when you hear things like all blessings come from God, they only pass through men. It's an ideology that fights everything you've been taught about job. Oh, the boss said, I can waste your life now. And you say, sir, it's true. Ah, and the psalmist said, I lift up my eyes to the hills. I'm not confused. I know where my help comes from. Who is an arrogant man born of a woman that sits on a chair and says he will frustrate you? When there is God, an average man of God has been taught now that there are things that if they are not in your church, members will not come. Please don't get me wrong. I know if there's any man of God phoning, I'm, I'm an excellent person. But right now, we are doing a lot of nonsense that will not help us see the glory of God. Nonsense. Members can drink tea, they can eat rice, they can eat yam and go. Because there is a pattern. And I, if I be lifted, that's the pattern. I will, Paul may plant, Apollos may water, but it's not given to men to bring increase increase is a mystery that only the lord of the harvest knows the formula you say something now people insult you and say you are arrogant but the result is not showing i want you tonight to start thinking the convictions that i hold where did it come from where did it come from there are many well-behaved ladies in this place you started very well with God until you read a book. Until you joined some group of friends who told you, blast gentlemen, don't talk anybody that talks, just give it to them. Don't be doing like a mumu girl. Men are not like that. I say, eh, that's how it works. You ate something and from that day your glory went away. And the kind of men who would ordinarily come, you find out that men increase, but it's all nonsense kind of men. Men that you cannot carry to your parents. Something, a pattern has gone wrong. The one factor that was the reason why the glory of God was on you, the devil now came and lied to you. Why be respect yourself be a well-behaved girl be all of, let me tell you if you act like you're a mumu naive girl men will not come and you say okay i must reinvent myself to be a happening lady and that was the day your destiny helper went away there are many pastors some of you here have come here for impartation let me tell you i submit to you i am a student of patterns 
there are things that I know I found them God taught me I said Lord I would never bend to them years ago I remember saying some things and I was insulted I was criticized because of it I said things about the glory of God I said things about increase and I said the way we are going if people do not understand these things they will pay for it people laughed at me and today is unfortunate for many people people see some of the results that God is producing it's not a charm it's patterns when a pattern is complete listen to me my sister you may come from a family where nobody knows you stay with God's pattern let his glory rest on you you will join people to wonder and say God what what am I doing and God says I'm the God of patterns man of God follow God's pattern for ministry and you will be afraid of what God will do through your life we like cutting corners cutting corners cutting corners I want a ministry but I want it now I want power but I want it fast I want this but I want it now and we find out that somewhere along the line the patterns are distorted and we never see the power of God are we together you do what I'm telling you now to do and see how society will laugh at you because we have trained people that the more godless we are the more happening they are you see that so this gentleman now is in the house and somebody advises him don't give your wife money because if you give her money she will not respect you that's what is in vogue now a demonic pattern because loyalty and submission was supposed to be by revelation not manipulation now the man is manipulating the woman and one day her own Ahitophel too will advise her and as soon as he advises her she will get a job and start a business and arrest the husband to prove to him that I am the man in the house my brothers and my sisters were in trouble if we don't return to pattern yes many marriages do not work because the men are not under authority you've heard me say it I have read a lot of books about marriage and I respect it but I submit to you that many of the books are dealing with symptoms do you know just for a man not having the fear of God there are hundred problems that can arise from that relationship now you can write a book to solve those various hundred problems but the root cause is that this man is not saved period when a man is not saved, the tendencies that can come are infinite. When a man is not under authority, he can beat the living daylight out of this woman and say, who cares? I'm the Lord of my life. I don't listen to no man. The arrogance of Nebuchadnezzar. It's a pattern. why do doctors specialize why do they look at certain sicknesses and they can show you immediately because the sicknesses have patterns malaria has a pattern typhoid has a pattern a doctor can do this just do a quick examination and say wow quickly you need to see a consultant something is wrong without the patterns they have been taught to identify patterns that's it there is a pattern that gives you wealth in this kingdom many believers will not listen the world has its own system it will work but wait to see what it will give you later on it will give you high blood pressure you will be a liar you will be a thief you will destroy your life destroy the integrity of your family so two of us come show two of us can stand right now and I have I have some money here. I have 1,000 Naira. Watch this. He got his one. Hold your own. Hold it high. He's hold, he got his 1,000 by a Babylonian system. And I got my 1,000 from a kingdom system. You would think that two of us are holding 1,000. No. He's holding 1,000 minus five years gone in his life. That's why the blessing of the Lord make it rich and added. That means there is a kind of blessing that adds too. 
if the blessing of the Lord adds not that means there is a type that you can get but with it you will get this that's what happened to many of our parents by the time they are 55 years he found out that because of Horsley and the way he pushed like that he's about to retire but he's not here in again come on to me Jesus let's listen to him now let's listen to Jesus come on to me all you that are weary and heavy laden he promises that he will give you rest this is what many people can kill for look at this this thing you see many people have left God because of it many people are going to hell fire because of it yet they never find it and God tells you look there is a way I can give you this such that you will serve me and the world says the way I give you this is the, the more you denounce Jesus the more I give it to you so you keep saying Jesus I don't love you and mammon says that's how it works by the time you have plenty of this you have not only left the cross you have left everything God so when you come and say I can have this and yet have Jesus Babylon says you are joking but this is what God is training you into doing that you can have this and if God says let it go you drop it because you are aware that this is not your true value your true value is Christ we must return tonight to patterns otherwise we are going to suffer remember that every result is governed by something that something is a pattern the result you get is brought by the glory of God I've seen a little bit of the glory of God and I know when a man has found a pattern for the glory give up on that man if you want to try to take the glory in that area you are wasting your time for as long as the pattern is kept the glory will always always without fail tomorrow I'm in Lagos preaching at a conference and I know that their lives will never be the same because there is a pattern it's not because I'm Joshua Selman ah Elijah said bring me 12 stones I know how to make fire come from heaven man of God you are not a blessing to your members if you do not understand the pattern that brings the hand of God there is a pattern that men do on earth that brings favor there is a pattern that brings speed there is a pattern that brings the anointing I was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of the Lord I was glad there is something in the house of the Lord that changes the lives of people but today we are eating trees that make the things of God do you know the tree of the knowledge of good and evil teaches you that it is in the abundance of hustling you prosper have you had those teachings and have you seen people write books on them have you not read in your Bible that except the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain that build it? The world will laugh at you for saying that. Have you not read again that the Lord said, except he watches over a city, he says, that the watchmen watch it in vain. He said it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late in the night. Does that look like somebody's life that you know? wake up in the morning sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow he said but he gives his beloved sleep and you see when you struggle and it does not work you will be angry at those who are getting it easy because patterns are supposed to create spiritual ease so you can step into a place and gyrate like a herbalist. The power of God will fall. He is going to fall. And you keep looking at the ladies and nobody is shouting and you are angry. What is no, no sister shouting? And yet, someone comes with the ark and knows how to put 12 stones together. And all of a sudden, you are hosting a dimension of glory. And you stand and watch and say, how are these people doing it? He has to be the devil. No, sir. Patterns. Oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God, and I. Oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. I 
listen to me and follow me I was stupid enough to follow Lord where do I go this way Lord where do I go I remember when the Lord told me put koinonia messages the audio put it on your Facebook page and let it go Lord what is that many ministries raise their money to run the church primarily through the media arm the media arm of every ministry is one of the major ways that God blesses them with. Lord, if you are doing that, how then are you going to bless the ministry? But Lord, how do you put a message on Facebook and then you said you will give it wings? The patterns of God. He uses the foolish things. My brothers and my sisters, listen to me. A lady was talking to me that she was somewhere, one of our ladies, she used to be in the worship team, that she was somewhere on Kekena Pep and the person on Kekena Pep was playing my message. This was in, I think it was in Wari or so or Bielsa. Now, that one is no more advertisement. There is a finger. When you see results that are produced by patterns, you will know that this one is God. The pride of our generation will never allow us to humble ourselves and say, Lord, I don't know. I don't know many young people do not know how to succeed and they would never go to God they will consult with all kinds of equally proud people like them and come up with all kinds of formula that is not consistent with the ways of God that formula may have worked in 1970 but I guarantee it will not work in today's world listen young people in Nigeria we need to receive the formula for our advancement because computers have, re have replaced men a day will come when almost everything will be done by computers I don't know what the employment issue will be but there is, there is a system in this kingdom when there was famine only two sets of people were spared the king and the prophet the king and the prophet did not go through famine any other person in between suffered the squalor of it Alagbara, you are the mighty God, and you are so rich. You are the glorious Alagbara. Are people who will tell you about our teachings that they can stand and sit strangers I shared with you the testimony of a gentleman that bought flash new flash in the case flash drive bought a new flash drive in the case like that given to him the gentleman opened it went to slot it in his laptop and there was koinonia messages brand new flash because it's not men that market this thing they are spirits Ask Jacob in the house of Laban. Do you not see that there was a pattern that made Laban left for three days? How many days? Three days. He came back after three days and saw that his cattle had changed in three days. Do animals get pregnant in three days? But a spiritual pattern was downloaded to the earth realm and things change. That means there is something we can receive from heaven. Remember our popular scripture in this ministry. Knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish the dominion thereof in the earth. There is a pattern. My brothers and my sisters. Listen to me. I want you to be careful what everybody calls the way. Did you hear what I said? Don't be afraid of being controversial. Be careful what everybody says is the way. This is how people make it in life. 
this is how people marry these days no sir many of our young children have been destroyed right now in churches because in a bid to create a western or a 21st century context we are robbing these young children of the quality of knowing god look at islam they have not changed their pattern the way they train children regardless whether it's in saudi arabia or whatever the pattern is the same they know the potency of that formula is god speaking to us let me give us one more and then we'll pray is god speaking to someone tonight so if i am not seeing the glory of god in my life the explanation tonight is that there could be that i am eating i am partaking of an information that may be mainstream it may be popular when i talk to this my adorable gentlemen they are absolutely great people they are going very far you see that yes they are going very far but you see there is a pattern that people believe if you follow you will rise fast believe me it is nonsense any pattern that is not consistent with God's word will not take you far it will throw you up and crash you down that's why you see people rise and shine for two years and then they say their time has come and gone but is that what your Bible says doesn't it say that the path of the just talk to me is as a shining light so what is this up today and down tomorrow because there is a pattern if you have to put money in my pocket and bribe my way to making the world know you your success is at the mercy of my loving you the day I don't love you you are in trouble but when God is the one who leads you you will be surprised when you hold my hands everything becomes possible when you for five years and they will tell her there's one man is in our village he has the gift he has the gift all you need to do he has the gift and the woman says no I know God's pattern I know that that tree carries good so it's possible to go there and have a child but something will come with that child will come the trouble in your family and then the woman stays and uses her faith and the day God is ready to visit her, God will not give her a child. The woman will carry tri triplets. One child being equivalent to ten children. You know that there are people who alone, they are equivalent to a nation. They give birth to one child. Because of that one child, somebody you have been trying to see for years comes to visit you. Five people get a job because a child was born. Is that a child? A child that does what a CEO cannot do. A destiny helper from birth. One week from birth is already a destiny helper. And as adult as we are, we couldn't help ourselves. A child helps us. That's not a child. That's a miracle. That's a breakthrough. Number three. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil thrives on self-centeredness I want you to listen to my message Christ-centeredness I preached it I think earlier this year the language I I want it my way my way is the language of Babylon my way is proof you are eating of that tree men who eat of that tree have a way they talk it must be my way listen listen Oh, generation of young people, let's listen. My way, my formula. We live in a generation right now where there is an obsession for having things happen our way. 
I want it my way. And we take it a step further to force others to also do it our way. That's the height of selfishness now. Most great relationships are destroyed because of the I factor. Myself. I want it my way. It has to be as it pleases me. Unfortunately, when you come to the kingdom, you learn that the more I goes down, the more glory rises. And I, Jesus, if I be lifted up, not you, John said that I will decrease. Not just him, that self, I, decreases and that you increase. James chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. Self-centeredness is one of the biggest tragedies of eating of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. James chapter 3. Gave us 14 and 15. The Bible says something very instructive. It says, listen, but if ye have bitter envyings and strife in your hearts glory not and lie not against the truth 15 it says this wisdom so there is a wisdom that is as a result of self and greed and bitterness my selfishness and my greed can make me act in a way that looks like wisdom but the motivation are we together now the motivation for that wisdom is bitterness, self-centeredness. The Bible says that kind of wisdom descended not from above. Remember the knowledge of the good of good and evil. It says, but is earthly, is sensual, and is devilish. So simply because I want to be the one to shine, I can say, Sam, um, because there is a gun inside that room. I say, Sam, why don't you go to that room and go and help me carry a basket? But the goal is so that he will be implicated, so that he will get out of the way for me to shine alone. It looks like wisdom, but the motivation is self-centeredness. The Bible says that wisdom is devilish. Our world today, and sadly, even in ministry, is full of self-centeredness. Romans chapter 16, quickly please, verse 17 and 18. While I was studying this, I found this scripture and it blessed me. Tonight is a very strong admonishment and I want you to listen carefully. 16 and 17. Okay, read with me. One, two, go. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause what? Division and offense contrary to to the doctrine which ye have learned and do what avoid them next verse for they are such that serve not our lord jesus but they are and by good words and fair speeches they deceive the heart of the simple your bible So I can be looking for money and I can say, do you know what? Um, the Lord gave me a prophetic instruction that all of us are going to do this and that and that. All of us are going to raise two, two thousand and come and touch my shoe and your life will change. And God knows he didn't give that instruction. I just calculated that if there are five thousand people here and everybody gives two, two thousand highest plus or minus i've already done the mathematics and then i come and say oh god said no their belly is their god their belly a man's belly can be his god meaning you can serve your stomach it's amazing what people do so that they can feel satisfied and don't care the effect on others and on the kingdom. That's why people can kill. I can look at this gentleman 
and plot with an assassin. Look at this, this touts around that steal phones and do all of that. They can come and cut someone's hand, cut someone's neck to collect a phone of 25,000 and go and sell it 5,000. That is self-centeredness at work. The amount it would take for that victim to treat himself or herself may even be more than what they sold that phone for. But because they need to smoke now, everybody, even if it means death. Listen, the moment the comfort of people does not become a factor for your consideration in your desire, you are self-centered. I want this it must be my way brothers we want this I'm the man of the house it must be my way I stamp it ladies I'm the woman of the house I'm not the one that married you you are the one that married me it must be my way and the naughty children come I'm not the one that gave her this death to they say their own selfishness are we to <laughs> who Jesus himself stripped himself of his glory and came to the earth for God so loved, not himself, for God so loved the world. I have loved thee with an everlasting love and I have drawn you with my loving kindness. Selfishness. Lord, bless me so that everybody in my family will know that I'm not a small man. My elder brother will shout in, Lord bless me, let me disgrace somebody for you. And God says, me? What do you think I am? Your mate? God sees my heart and I stand before you. I say this, I don't know how many things I do in my life considering myself as the chief benefactor. God is my witness. There are things I do for people today that I sit down sometimes and I think and I say, Kai, you man, now I will. I talk to myself, I said, now for you, Joshua Selman. When you do not have a heart for God and people, are eating of the tree of life of knowledge of good and evil the tree of life takes the attention from you to others are we together now as a preacher if your whole church is around you what you can get from members how they can clap for you then that means you're in trouble let me tell you true ministry is not about the preacher it's about the blessed people that God brings so that they are raised, so that they are equipped, so that their lives are blessed. I sit down here many times and I find tears when I see people stand to testify about the marvelous things that the word of God did for them. Listen, I have found out that there are not many things that are important in life. Did you hear what I said? I have found out that if you walk with God's ways, there are not many things in your entire lifetime that are really important. The complications that come, that our lives bring, are a web that the Babylonian system created for us. So we have depression. Go to the village. You will hardly find people with high blood pressure. For some of them, it's because they are not enlightened. But for some of them, through the wisdom of the ancient, they know the things that really matter. Did you know that when all is said and done in this life, there are not many things that are important. As busy as we are, 6 o'clock in the morning, we're on our way going. 12 o'clock, we're on our way going. We do this and kill ourselves trying to eat, trying to gain relevance. I must buy the suit of 200,000 so that they will know. And that self-inflicted pain 
leads you to do things that you have no business doing. The moment you buy the 200,000 naira suit, the person you want to wear it for, you hear that they've made the person a senator. And you feel stupid for laboring for one year to prove a point. Listen, I have seen people who died trying to impress others. I've seen people who died trying to create something in their life that it was not part of God's template for them. Meet a man on a deathbed right now and tell him what do you desperately want. He will not say an estate. He will not say I need an extra wife. He will not say I need a male fast. <clears throat> the only thing he will cry for is give me more time. That means time is the most valuable thing. And if God ever gives you time, you have everything. But we can waste time to look for what is less than time. God gave you time to serve him, time to love him, time to seek him. We were on our way going to, um, I think it was while we were going to movie, while we were going to the airport, I was talking to my people. And I told them, I said, guys, do you know that this you people's thing that you have forced me to buy has reduced my productivity by at least 10%? And they were amazed. I said, I don't have a problem with it. But um, you can sit down with somebody for 20 minutes and not even ask him his name because someone else is talking to you. And the person who is talking to you can even have gone to be with the Lord. Yet he's talking to you. And somebody that is alive that can help you now. You see that? Everybody. People have had accidents. Typing text while driving. People have done all kinds of things. You see someone stand by the roadside shouting alone. And just nodding with the ear piece. These things are turning us into fools. We have to remind ourselves that we are the highest of God's creation. I'm not against excellence. Don't get me wrong. But something is critically wrong that we must trust God for. It's a mind control system. It's controlling us. Right now when you stand, people look at you and they look at the phone you are holding. They see one kind of thing. They say, okay, you can stay there. That's a society that is depraved of the formula. So it puts pressure. Someone who is busy saving money for something is under pressure. Let me carry this. There are some you, I, I thank God because he doesn't allow me to read the prayer items of miracle service. I'm sure I would have edited some before presenting them to God. I said, this is nonsense. God, please don't waste your time. There's a crucial issue here. Someone is dying. Leave this iPhone issue and kill the person dying. So I can go to the place of prayer and spend three hours. And that three hours is not because I love God and his purposes. The three hours is because I'm manipulating the hand of God to meet my need. Oh God, if you give me a good job and you give me an iPhone, Lord, you too, you know you'll be glorified. And God says, how? How? Present your cause. There's no problem. How will I be glorified? I said, well, Lord, they will respect me. And say, have you, have you found out how many times you mentioned your name in that equation? I said, no. I'm not a careless God. I don't waste. And yet another person is doggedly involved. I said, Lord, I know. There is nothing that I have that is not yours. And while he's talking, God is telling someone, give him the latest iPhone every year. He said, God, I don't need it. He said, me, I want you to need it. That's God for you. It's amazing how God can take someone else's prayer request and give another person who really seeks him. Please, when you go to the secret place, don't waste your time. Learn how to get God's heart. Nobody comes with his heart without his hands. If you invite my heart, my hand will follow. If you invite my hand, I can keep my heart far while my hand goes. Get his heart and you will see what his hand will do. It's the hand that will remove the heart and put it for you. 
but with that heart will come more than you have ever imagined I see God do things in my life and I see God do things in this ministry that sometimes okay. this God bar, I want you to believe him I will never bow to Babylon it's a corrupted system I have seen the fallacy of this system they are arrogant even one hour to their destruction they will still be arrogant they have deceived many people today the Babylonian system has made many people to go to hell. Are you aware of that? There are people who would have been on their way to heaven, but a system deceived them. They deceived many of our parents to not love God. They embrace education, but they left God. Believing that they will be on their job forever, they forgot that demons are still on earth. While they were promoted, their inability to be connected to God didn't give them the opportunity to make exploits and their lives are almost miserable today young people lie to themselves if you take this and smoke this you are a man and it sells a system and you embrace it let me tell you I introduce to you once again a system that is superior maybe controversial for a while but the results are like day and night you will rise above men, men and watch life in wonder yes it's true I've made my choice I really have I'm not going to run my life based on a depraved system that has no respect for God I will not make money at the expense of my relationship with God no sir that is devilish money and God are not the same I will never allow any brilliant financial expert make me believe money and God is the same no in the beginning God not dollars in the beginning God not Naira in the beginning God not NMPC in the beginning God not ABU in the beginning God and he says he's Omega too so whatever happens in between I'm sure that he's still there I live a very happy life truly speaking and I live a very peaceful life do you know why because I have learned in my life there are very finite things I'm doing with my entire life the things I'm doing with my life they are not many these are the things I live for these are the things my entire course on earth will be for I don't have time to waste on nonsense there's no time wasting to prove any point high blood pressure if they tell you i have high blood pressure well pray for me but i don't think it's true i sleep like a baby i wake up happily this is the day the lord has made i rejoice and i am glad in it wake up tomorrow morning and stand by the road and see the anger of people he's alone nobody's on the road yet he's already angry honing alone and angry this wicked world why is life like this and God says come up to me say no God stay out of my life and others even say it's because you came into my life have you heard people say that if the devil ever puts that thought in your mind my brothers and my sisters cast it that is because God came into my life that's why I'm not lifted if it was not this God thing I would have quietly bribed my way I would have been in NMPC now and people regret and make it look like God you are a disadvantage Bazankoma Bazankoma Nina yes Bazankoma based on your own convictions if you don't fear God you can't make your children fear God they will fear what you fear you fear money you will raise your children like that whatever you serve is what they will serve you say as for me and my house as for me and my house I've made a choice I want you to join me make this choice make this choice as for me money will not stand between me and God fame will not stand between me and God 
this devilish system it doesn't mean we should run away from the world we cannot we are in the world but there is another philosophy listen we are praying in the world Sam come if Sam offends me the world teaches that Sam has offended you an eye for an eye make sure you do something that bends him so that he will know but when you come into the kingdom it says to even pray for those who despitefully use you now you do that let me tell you what the world calls you mumu that's the name that's the name invented for those who obey god that far when you obey god that far the world created a name for you everybody will be taking you for a ride you are doing like an idiot revenge share and bible says vengeance is mine and you are thinking do i do i do something for sam david had the opportunity to kill Saul, and he left Saul. Ah, david yes your chance david said it doesn't work that way there is a pattern it is god that lifts if i lift myself i will keep myself in the palace That's the pattern of the kingdom. The wall says, take, search his pocket, remove everything and make it your own. That's how you rise. And that's the way many of us have taught. You can inflate school fees. Daddy, they've increased our school fees to 120,000. Print some letters that are a lie and they give you and you say smartness. That's what the world calls it. In this kingdom, we call it death because God's system of justice will catch up with you for sure. Are we together? We are going to pray. Tonight is a wake up call that you should stop eating from the tree. Although it looks like it has good, there is a more excellent way, the tree of life. An ideology and a proposition that is superior by far. You will live long and live happy. You will give and people will think you're a madman yet you are happy because you understand the system. That your children surround your table. They don't run away from you like you ran away from your parents. They come to you and love you. That you can lock your house morning till night with your family members and say today we are worshipping God in this family. Not No time, no time. I need to make ends meet. I need sharp, sharp. I need money. There's one money somewhere and God is saying settle down. God, no, 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 no. My, the, the person has called me to come now. I need to come. A man can receive nothing. Intelligent people hear me. on your own understanding he says in all your ways acknowledge him I am aware that I am not very smart in myself I am giving up on my own intelligence outside of God that's why I need him like a matter of life and death and I say Lord if you do not speak my intelligence is too frail to give me the results that I seek these are the kinds of people that he loves when people stand and say apostle joshua selman i remember that in this kingdom there is only one person who is glorified it is in his being glorified that you are also lifted and then i turn i say lord jesus this is unto you and they say no shine i say no we shine by letting him shine then he reflects his light on us that's how we get our own we don't shine and turn our backs at him say lord i have brought you this as a trophy and he says you are doing this for me then I will lift you men of God be careful when men begin to clap for you and say without you the world will not move without koinonia you cannot rise I mean come with or without me God's sovereignty remains with or without me his kingdom and his purposes will continue if i die today you will only cry for seven days you will first try to raise me back if i don't refuse to wake up you will throw me you will pray and pray and be tired and one by one you will start going and throw me in a grave and cry one last time and i tell you that will be it you will think your life will not continue i will stand and i'm watching you with the angels i say bury that body and go <laughs> I want you to live a superior life a life that is free from fear 
if I fail, what happens? If, if I fail, hey, no, if, if I don't marry, what happens? If I don't have children, no. To deliver them who through the fear of death, fear, have all their lifetime subject to bondage. If you want to buy a car today, the reason should not be to prove a point. Lord, I need it for the comfort of my life, for my family, ultimately for your kingdom. And God says, pattern complied. Let the car come. Lord, I need it. Have my colleagues have car. This small boy that was in SS1, when I was writing work and God said, SS1, I was 33 years old when I saved the world. I saved those who were also 70 years. So if you are using age, that carnality in you, God will not prosper you. And you will sit down there and say, my colleagues and their children will come and be feeding you. But if you say, Lord, it's for your glory. And I've taught you how you know God is being glorified in your life. Whoever takes the shame is the one who has been taking the glory. Did you hear what I said? Whoever takes the shame, God cannot be taking the glory while you take the shame. Many of us are so shame conscious. We got it from our cultures. Shame! Shame! Ah! Let him take the glory and let him take the shame. Is his namesake is defending not my namesake you enter your sabbath lord is for your glory for your glory i will do anything just to see you to behold you as my king for your glory I will do anything just to see you, to behold you as my King. One more time, sing it. For your glory, I will do anything just to see Gotta be where you are. Wanna be where you are. Gotta be where you are. You have tried hustling. Why don't you try a retreat? Try it. Try it. You have tried running around. Why don't you get back and say, Lord, here is my certificate. Whatever you do with it, do all. I'm tired of applying. Every job I applied, they didn't give me. I bring my certificate to the secret place and I kneel before you. Am I not all yours? Is the certificate not yours? And you lie down there and then you have a dream and you see someone giving you a job. And God says, this one, I am the one giving you. I took my hand to show you it's not by the arm of flesh. I am the lifter of men. I don't know how many times I would drum this revelation. There is nobody who is self-made in the kingdom. The idea of being self-made is a secular idea. Everybody is spirit-made. Everybody is God-made. Everybody is word-made. And nothing was made without him. I am self-made is a joke. Of course, when you are talking to secular people, it's okay. But in this kingdom, no self-made preachers, no self-made marriages, no self-made wives. Oh, I was beautiful. That's why he married me. He's a lie. I'm a handsome guy working in an NPC. No, sir. Everything in this kingdom is God. The epicenter of the kingdom is Christ. Are you ready to pray? I've shown you three things that the tree of the knowledge of good and evil can do. Listen, it will destroy your home. It will destroy your life. There is a more excellent way. It's the way of the spirit. It's a more excellent way. It's the way of peace. Many of us have joy, but we do not have peace. Can I tell you, peace is better than joy by far. If you have the option to choose between peace and joy, choose peace 1,000 times before you choose joy once. 
you have nothing in life if you do not have peace true wealth is peace true progress is peace he never calls himself the prince of joy but he calls himself the prince hallelujah delay delay god is not yet done where is that family oh lord that nobody has moved forward i'm seeing delay don't worry god is coming in the anointing of the spirit is looking for a family there is a family there is a family there is a family shakatosete shabrata skatapareketa they are here there is a family jesus shokos ketetosia help this woman there is a family this is not just an individual thing there is a family the power of god is searching for a family that the devil has kept 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 so that they will not rise hallelujah we are going to be fast tonight there are many things to do i want you to be sensitive the lord is showing me a vision now and i'm seeing a grave i'm seeing something that looks like a black leather inside that grave and i'm seeing an angel of the lord pull it out and the lord is saying this was done against a family lord where is that family right now i stretch my hands whoever programmed the earth to fight any family tonight is a night of resurrection so get us carry at a car paroto soto gosh eleke toke sete kotos priya katas kotari atatosia eke tos koli adada i decree and declare let it come out now let it come out the breakthrough of that family the healing of that family the miracle of that family i release it now hallelujah hallelujah i'm standing here and i'm looking at this stage one two three four five six seven i'm counting seven stones and the lord is saying these are tight destinies this is the whole destiny of a family seven of them but may the sword of the god i serve shakoto sukata shakras katatosia Raketo toto tete te ele katos keta proskia rakata batos soteriata in the name of Jesus any family tied down by witchcraft any family tied down by ordinances I decree and declare by the blood of Jesus liberty tonight liberty tonight. hallelujah i'm seeing a family and there are four ladies and all the four ladies have a growth either a breast lump or something in their body four ladies all of them have it in the name of jesus christ wherever this family is regardless of what what overflow i stretch my hands now in the name of jesus christ that family does not need healing. That family needs deliverance. I command deliverance right now. Shakato skata. Lekata koto soto priyata. I command deliverance for that family now. I command deliverance now. When I was praying, I saw at least eight women that were barren no child doesn't matter what years some of them connected to families and the lord told me he was going to open the wombs of every single one of them 
every single one of them every single one of them please lift your hands i want to pray now i believe in deliverance i really do this mama there's serious witchcraft in your family as i'm praying for you now i'm seeing a rope a rope i'm seeing a rope and the lord is saying that i should set this mama free i'm just being fast because i want us to conserve time hallelujah listen do you know why we do not minister deliverance just as a religious thing no it is a way of separating people and the influences that tie them down that's what i want to do now i want to pray listen many of you inside many of you outside are here now because of spirits you may not believe it you may not agree but it's true they are the forces responsible for the pain and the tragedies that we are going through but i want to pray for you now your own is to believe just do what i'm asking you to do we have already prayed if those spirits do not clear out of your life there is no breakthrough you you would have come to waste your time let me tell you the truth it is when those forces leave your life families here spirits have sat on the destinies of families do your worst go to school and come back and meet us get a job and still come back and meet us marry and come back and meet us are we together it's time for them to go lift your hands everyone i want to pray for you now I'm going to command those devils to leave you listen it's not a suggestion they must go they must leave you are we together now I'm praying for you please now because the ushers are doing their best the protocol is doing their best but there is only so much they may not be able to help people there are people outside please be your brother's neighbor if someone is under the anointing and is capsizing to enjoy himself you can do well to help please you can help at least manage the ushers will come for it because this prayer i'm about to pray now is going to bring strange manifestations in people i see a lot of wild spirits wicked ancient spirits all shapes and all sizes they must go now just one instruction I just want you to shout when I ask you the name of Jesus once and at the top of your voice. Now listen, don't be surprised when you find out that demons are manifesting through you. It doesn't mean you are possessed. No, that's a different thing altogether. Some of you as you are here, you are representing your family. Nothing may be wrong with you as a person, but because of your family. Are you ready now? Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have anointed this place as a place of fire a place of grace and deliverance there are lives and destinies that have been tied down for ages and in the name of jesus at the sound of my voice may your voice be in my voice may your grace be in my voice i send an alarm to the length and breadth of this place that at the count of three anyone that shouts that name let there be deliverance right now are you ready one two three i command those devils go now go now ancestral spirits spirit husbands spirit wives yokes of darkness i command you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Ancient spirits. Spirits that have been generational. Familiar spirits. I command you. Now. 
by the anointing of the Holy Ghost overflow one overflow two overflow three let them go now let them go now lift your hands lift your hands i'm seeing a number of ladies there are all kinds of spirits manifesting in the night as a man and a woman manifesting as animals in your sleeps and dreams in the name of jesus where are those ladies fire is looking for them now Shakoto Soto i separate you from those spirits i separate you from those covenants i separate you from those ordinances any man any woman any entity appearing to you in the night using the faces of men and animals in the name of jesus i command by the spirit a severance between you and them hallelujah sir this baba can i talk to you sir please come god is about to change your story forever i don't know you sir but i want to pray for you stand up please stand up sir i'm looking at you in a vision and i'm seeing you are not alone you came with some people your, your children one one child your son eh? only you no there's a son is here. where is he come come and stand Daddy, I want to pray for you that this life of hardship, God wants, please stand up, please stand up. You don't have to kneel down, sir. This is your dad. I want to pray for you. You came believing. Eh? August, is it Augustus? I'm hearing the name Augustus. Augustus. Is it Augustus? Is it Augustus, Augustine, or something? Augustus. Please, if that's your name, let me just talk to you quickly. I want to minimize personal prophecy so that we can do much. We want to pray for the sick. I want to take out time and do an extensive deliverance tonight because there are people that... My sister, come. This lady, this one, not you. You are not a woman, my brother. This, come. Lift your hands. Shout over. Over. Forever in the name of Jesus Christ for you and your family. It's over in the name of Jesus Christ. Sir. If you have never believed a man of God in your life, what is about to happen to you? There is a reason why I ask you to come because the Lord showed me that there was a son. And I want to prophesy to you that this life of hardship will end like smoke before the wind. You believe it, sir? Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, it's over right now. I stretch my hands and I decree and declare that it's over. In the name of Jesus, over forever. Sir, hold my hands. Go and prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Go and prosper by the anointing of the Spirit of God. Go and prosper. Gabriel, who is Gabriel? Gabriel, I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Please let's hurry up so that we don't waste time. Gabriel, Gabriel. Is he Gabriel? What's your name? Huh? Augustine, come. You are Gabriel. Why is he here? Augustine, I want to pray for you. Where's your family? My dad is around. My sister. Hold on. There's a man wearing white. Is he your father? White shirt. Call him. Let him come. Who is that? Who is that? There's somebody. I'm seeing somebody wearing white. What's, please coordinate them. What? You're welcome, sir. Your name is Gabriel, sir. I'm going to pray for you. Please stand here. I want to pray for you. This is the guy wearing white. Come. What is he? My brother. Your brother. Come and stand. God wants to change your life. I don't know you, but I saw someone standing close to you wearing white. That's why I said there's somebody wearing white. Two of you, I want to pray for you. 
you love Jesus, God is going to change your life. Why is he here? Your name is Gabriel too. You too? I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God. Honestly, I tell you, God is visiting families. I don't know if it's because it's first October, but I see strange miracles. You, this one, put your hand on your stomach there, right now. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing fire coming on you. And the Lord is, I should tell you, he's taking something away from your stomach. That's what is happening right now. In the name of Jesus, I command that thing to go now. My brother, there is oppression. There's a spirit that you need to be delivered from. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Out now of his life and his family. Help two of them. God is delivering them. This is the spirit that is destroying their family. What's your name, sir? Augustine. Augustine. Where's the other Augustine? Okay, you are the one. You are the Augustine. Where are you from? Abia State. Abia State. Yes. I want to pray for you. God wants to give your family a miracle. Do you believe that? Lift your hands. There's bad luck in your life. The Lord is asking me to end it now. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands. I end bad luck. Over. The boy doesn't even believe. As you are standing, the anointing still touch you, but it doesn't have faith. Don't come and stand here and you are wondering. I'm not a herbalist. Have I prayed for you? What's your name? Ye two. Ye two. What is ye two? I'm seeing Y E. Is it Y E T U or ye two or ye two? Something like that. Ye two. Something that has to do with ye two. Y E T U. I don't know if it's part of someone's name or something. Ye two. Who is that? That's her name. What's her name? Ye two. Can you imagine? How can you call somebody's name Yetu? You can guess Gabriel, you can guess Mary. But Yetu, I want to pray. There's something being taken from her life. Hold my hands. And the Lord is saying I should take it away. In the name of Jesus, let it roll like a cotton. And leave her life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is of the devil. And I release your wife right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of jesus your miracle has come your miracle has come you love jesus my friend look at me you love jesus i want to pray for you ah in the name of jesus why is she here your dad there is a copper that i want to pray for there is a copper something is coming on you my dear Let me pray for you. Don't worry. If, if, I, if all I do, I, I just lay my hands on you. Um, it, it doesn't matter. Please, why are you here? You are Gabriel? Gabriel. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for this guy. God is giving you favor. Great favor. Great favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's, there's bad luck in your life and your family. But it's going now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's going. That's why you're here. Gabriel. Aleku is there. This is like an idol. Aleku or Aleku. Eh? Aleku. Aleku. Who is that? Eh? Hold on. Where are you from? Aleku. This is something that has to do with a tree. Is there something like that? Is a what? Why are they coming out? What is why are you? They named somebody after the idol, and the Lord is saying, who, who is the person? Whose name? This is it's not just an idol. We are going to pray for Benway State. But the, every state has a devil somewhere. I'm saying this is like somebody's name. Ale, Ale Kuos, Ale something like that. Ale Ku also. Who is this? Huh? What's that?
Alleluia. Praise God. Alleluia. What's your name? Eh? Grace. Please, can you help us with this mic? The mic, please. Where are you from? Benway. You are from Benway. Yes. The Lord is showing me something. Look at me. If I'm right, say I'm right. If, if it's no, say no. I'm seeing you lying down and you are having a dream. Yes. And in the dream, they are calling this name I've been calling. Yes. Is that true? They called that name three times. One, two, three. That idol. Is that true? Yes. Sir. From that day when you woke up, your life was never the same again. Is that true? Give her the mic now. Let her talk. Yes. Sir. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Hold my hands. If you are from Benway here, hold my hands. Anything, any programming that has been done with any God, you will be surprised what will happen now. In the name of Jesus Christ, anyone here from Benway whose destiny has been tied to any tree or any devil, right now, I use this lady as a point of contact. As God is touching her, Shakato Totokata. Out of their lives now. Out of their destinies now. Daddy, let me pray for you, sir. This is your first time here? No, sir. I've been coming, sir. You've been coming, sir? Yes. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? Sir? What do you do? I'm a staff of a medical university. I have to pray for you, sir. Because I look at you, and not, not only because I'm looking at you, nobody will look at you and nobody. There's serious depression, and I have to pray for you. That's number one. Number two, you have, do you know what they call the cause of hardship? You are not a lazy man, but there is hardship in your life. And the Lord is asking me to help you. Can I pray for you, sir? In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray for this, our daddy. Let there be a miracle right now in his life. I command this yoke of hardship to go. Let it go forever. In the name of Jesus. Let it go forever. Jumai. 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 Is that your name? Uh, well, I'll pray for you, but this is not the person I'm seeing. Jumai. I'll pray for you. Your family is oppressed. There is a spirit that must go now. Bring her. I've not even started praying. Bring her. There is a, a, a wicked spirit that I see in this family. A very wicked spirit that I see in this family. This is something that is older than, older than old. This is hundreds of years old. But in the name of Jesus, I'm praying now. I use you as a point of contact. I command that spirit, you must go now. Hallelujah. Please, just allow me. This is, Juma, I'll pray for you. But I'm seeing a family. This is like a cause. No matter what the men do, they never rise. The Lord is saying I should break it. Something is happening to a family right now. Let me pray. My sister, this is your first time here. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Don't be afraid. As I pray for you, the Lord is going to open a door in your destiny that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus, I hold your hands now and decree and declare that everything that has tied you down, everything that has tied you down, right now in the name of jesus there is disfavor in your life anybody who plans to bless you something turns them away from you anybody who plans to bless you something turns them away from you i hold your hands and i release you right now in jesus name i want to pray in a hurry there is a family all the men it doesn't matter whether you are hard working whether you go to school or not but the lord is asking me to pray for that family right now lord where are they I'm stretching my hands now and I'm declaring anyone here inside, outside, under the sound of my voice that belongs to this category as I stretch my hands right now I release the power of God to that family right now 
I speak to the men in that family arise now arise now arise now arise now arise now help that woman arise now arise now the men in that family arise now arise now in the name of Jesus There's somebody here you lost your job in the month of March March you lost your job please where is that person you were working but in the month of March I want us to hurry up I, I'm, I'm trying to see that we conserve time the month of March I don't know if you are except if he's a person his family overflow tree then they can just locate him you lost your job there's something you lost your job in the month of March where is that person Please quickly, if there's someone like that. What were you doing? I was a banker. I was a banker. You were a banker? Yes, sir. Something happened? Yes, sir. And they dismissed you? Yes, sir. What are you doing now? I'm doing my PG program for now. Do you believe if I pray for you, you will get a job? Yes, sir. Will you come and testify? Yes, sir. <laughs> Where? Where have you been praying for? Ah, sorry. Where have you been praying for for a job? Uh, same bank. bank same job. bank. Same bank. You want them to call you back? Yes, sir. Do you believe they can call you back? Sure. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Because you see, I'm looking at something that had to do with money, and truly the guy was innocent. But they just joined people and since there was nobody to stand for him they joined everybody and threw them out but in the name of jesus whatever should not leave you and left you i call it back to your life now i call it back to your life now i call it back to your life now hear me I know many of you may not why is he here sir come well stand up sir you were outside yes, overflow three overflow three yes you sir. lost your job where were you working i'm working in hospital which hospital? an accountant which hospital Tukutuku medical centers so that you see we don't ask this question because we are prying into your privacy. I hope you are not embarrassed. Sometimes we ask it so that people don't think that this thing, because there are still people with all these things they see, they still believe that maybe someone is playing games. At least this one is not, you are watching it now. Which hospital, sir? Tukutuku Medical Center, Zaria. At uh, Tukutuku. Okay, where are you working now? I'm just, I'm managing with one private school. What do you want God to do for you? Just get back the job back to that place no 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 another job sir another job yes. do you believe if i pray for you god will give you a job i believe that. do you know why i'm prophesying to you in the open so that you will testify in the open too what's your name sir i'm paul paul yes sir god will give you a job eh? amen the heaven of heavens belongs to the lord listen so when it has to do things there, we don't legislate. We make petitions. But the act has he given to the sons of men. I give you a job now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. He will go and return with it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, how many of us are trusting God for healing miracles? Or came with loved ones that are really sick? Okay, we have a lot to do. So what will happen is, we'll take a break now to minister very quickly to the sick. And then after that, I'm still going to minister to people shortly before we do the final prayer. Will that be okay? Now, but while we are doing that, please, no laziness. There will be prayer points. Are we together? There will be prayer points. Once the prayer point comes, pray. Because in that prayer point, you will receive your miracle. Praise the Lord. But don't sit down yet. I'm, I'm not walking around, but I just want to. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord directing me to someone. There is, there is something that we must settle here. 
I'm seeing an anointing going around this place. I'm seeing an anointing going around this area. There is oppression over someone's destiny. That's the lady in the name of Jesus. I command that devil to go now. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring her out. There's no space here, right? Please, don't push them. Don't push them. We are coming back. Just take her out to wait for me. Mama, what do you want God to do for you? Kina de chuo, chuo kafa. To mama mu fara do akije ki jirani agabako. Zam miki adu. I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. Let it be over now. That oppression. Let it be over by the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is where I'm coming to. In the name of Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. In the name of Jesus. I saw light moving across here. And God wants to visit a family right now. Three of them. One, two, three. Where are they? Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the visitation come now. No hiding. The Lord must touch them. That's why you came. The Lord must touch you. Casting crowds. Lifting hands. Bowing hearts. That's all we come to do. Let her go now. Casting crowds. Out. Lifting hands. Bowing hearts. That's all we come to do. In your name. We will rise, Adonai, you reign on high, in your name, in your name, we will rise, Adonai, Adonai, you reign on high. Look at me, that girl, look at me, shout Jesus. Something is tying you. Let it lose you now. I stretch my hands to you. Let it be over now. Hallelujah. Now please, for those of you coming here for the first time, we take our time. We, you see that we don't announce instant miracles except because we don't have the time. Our time is very limited. Praise the Lord. Now this is what we are going to do. Um, while I give you the prayer request, please listen carefully. Those, please listen carefully. I want to pray particularly particularly no matter what overflow you are in if you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb don't come now but when it's time to come I want you to come I want to pray for you by myself but any other issue those inside I want you to come stand here and then part of overflow two maybe half of overflow two can join them now overflow one please you go to your projector stand overflow two and those spilling over at the roadside you can move to the projector stand overflow three if god grants grace and there's time i'll just run and come and visit you briefly just to let you know we're together overflow three move to your projector stand hallelujah and we're going to pray very quickly please if they don't prophesy to you or they don't minister to you don't worry we have to pray quickly so that i'll focus and do other things i want everybody to receive will that be fine but those who are trusting god for fruit of the womb whether you're in overflow one two three wherever i like you to please come those online doesn't matter any nation those following us online doesn't matter your nation you're trusting god for a miracle i want you to connect right now by faith hallelujah so we're going to do three things at the same time number one you're going to be submitting your prayer request to the ushers number two you're going to be praying the prayers that i'll give you while preparing our faith and then number three will come out is that all right praise the lord so let's do that very quickly very quickly please you're trusting god or you came with a sick person now is your time to come out please quickly 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 jesus we bless you I don't know You reign on no more Casting crowds Lifting hands Bowing hearts It's what 
we've come to do Casting rods We are lifting hands Bowing hearts is what we've come to do It's in your name In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave her now. Leave her now. In the name of Jesus. Can you lay your hands on her, Jimmy? Just on her chest or anywhere. Just touch her there. In the name of Jesus, I decree. I curse that spirit. You go and you go forever. In the name of Jesus. Now this is what will happen. Please, we are going to be very fast. We have to be fast. You see that there are lots of people. You have our miracle services. If you came with someone, just be patient. We are going to attend to them. Praise the Lord. Thank God we have, uh, we have many hands. And by the grace of God, we'll coordinate. We'll make it very fast. Ushers, please be collecting the prayer requests. If your loved ones are here to send their own, send them a text quickly. And she can join the queue. Just keep them somewhere. I'm going to lay my hands on them. Praise the Lord. How many overflows do we have? There's an extra overflow I see by the road. It has spilled over. Maybe overflow four. You can, uh, let's see. We have to be fast. Praise the Lord. Okay, this is what will happen. Um, Pastor Jimmy will be at the overflow outside here. Pastor Alpha, you'll be at the overflow here. Benga, you would go to overflow three. Is there someone outside here? Who is outside here? Pastor Alpha is outside. Um, promise. Promise you will be here with Pastor Alpha. And then um, Pastor Femi, you'll be with um, you'll be with Benga right there at the overflow. Inside here, I don't know how many people are left. And by God's grace, God will grant us grace. And we'll have a lot more people to be able to minister. Okay, Kenny. Kenny, join join um, a Jimmy. You join a Jimmy there. I think that's that's all right so far. Let's let's just trust God for grace. Father, we agree in the name of Jesus Christ that for everyone we are praying for, it doesn't matter who lays hands on them, let there be miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be miracles. The devil is a liar. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Put your hand on your stomach, my dear. I want to remove something from your body now. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit, that devilish spirit. Father, let there be miracles in Jesus' name. Please, let's go very quickly. We we'll need more hands. I don't know if we we'll still have people. I know they may. Aaron, what if you are not doing anything? Please, if you can help out in Overflow 3 with them so that at least we can help to coordinate things there. Praise the Lord. Father, let there be an avalanche of miracles here right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please worship team you're going to give us we're going to pray one prayer first i'd like you to decree and declare and say father i prophesy over myself that my miracle locates me now lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray father we give you all the praise do i not leave now how to do Come and change my story Give me a testimony Do what only you know How to do Can I hear you say Do what only you know Do what only you know How to do Can you lift up a voice and say Do what only you know Do what only you know How to do Do what only you know how to do. Do what only you know how to do. I said, Do what only you know how to do. Do what only you know how to do. 
trust is in you. Hey, the ancient of days. My trust is in you. Hey, I put them on you. Say, my trust. My trust is in you. I put them on you, Lord. My trust is in you. I put them on you, Lord. My trust is in you. In the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that tonight. It's my night of testimony. Lift your voice and begin to pray over your request. Lift your voice and begin to declare. Professor, tonight is my night of testimony. Shaka toko to prekete kata. Shaka paskata prekete kosh. Unto you that answers prayers. Shall all flesh come? Pray, lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus, we declare. Make sure you are praying. Lord, I decree and declare. I will not write this twice. I will not write this twice. Lord, we decree and declare. Miracles. Miracles. Are you praying? Miracles. Visit family. There are still more that should come quickly. Ha pokoto prokoto sekete balalaba. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh. Kadosh, you mighty on your throne, mighty in this place, mighty, mighty on your throne, you mighty on your throne. Are we done? Are all the requests here, please? In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I bow my knees before the God of my covenant and I decree and declare that every request placed here, I turn it to a testimony now. I turn it to a testimony now. Strange testimonies now. Strange testimonies now. Lord, I cry that you step in and do impossible miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
listen let me tell you there are things written here that except the writer if you read it you won't even believe that it can happen but i pray the god who has the all-seeing eye that can see every request a representation of every man's pain here i call on that god answer by fire answer by fire father there are issues here that are impossible with men some of them have deadlines that cannot be achieved humanly but in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god i prophesy let there be strange miracles strange miracles now for all those connecting from whatever nation in the name of jesus we agree with you here the same fire that is on this altar through the internet to your various localities you receive the same testimony in the name of jesus every human agent that must partner with god for this request to be granted we force them from their hiding places to appear now in the name of jesus christ whoever must die for this request to be answered in the name of jesus the ground opens and swallows them Whoever must lack sleep for this request to be granted we seize their peace and their sleep now. Hear me? Any mortal man that says over his dead body for you to testify may God answer their prayers this night. The Lord is opening my eyes. I know they are still ministering outside. Let's be patient. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing trees. I'm seeing trees in the realm of the spirit. And I'm seeing these trees. It's like a representation of families. Hold on please. I'm seeing these trees like a representation of families. And I'm looking at it. I've never seen a tree bringing out blood, human blood. But in this vision, I'm seeing a tree, but I'm seeing human blood. This is like a representation of families. I decree and declare. I don't know what family the devil is taking advantage of, but I want to pray now. I'm not prophesying. I'm speaking for, for God to locate a family that must not go back this night in this situation. Lord, I decree and declare wherever that family is, right now in the name of Jesus, may the fire of God locate that family now. May the fire of God locate that family now. The Lord is releasing an anointing. Hold on. Over people is for supernatural clarity and direction. That's what I hear. Receive it now. People are receiving it. People are receiving it. I prophesy. Clarity, clarity. God is answering questions now by the anointing. If that fire comes from you, you are receiving direction right now. Clarity, clarity. All the overflows, clarity. I release that anointing right now. God is giving clarity. Listen, I'm still praying it. I'm seeing anointings that will translate as answers. Should I stay here or should I relocate somewhere else? Should I start the project or should I stop? Every confusion and anointing is answering it now. An anointing is answering it now. An anointing is answering it now.
Alléluia. Alléluia. I'm praying for everybody, but I'm seeing particularly overflow one. An anointing for divine recovery. Divine recovery. Let me tell you something. Whatever leaves you can come back to your life. Are you hearing now? There are people who have lost things. I'm about to call it into your life now. And as that anointing comes on you, just know that it's your time of recovery. Lord, where are they? Where are those who have lost things that need recovery? Shakata kata kata. Shakata kata kata. Broskete kata. Everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere, inside, outside, outside. The grace for recovery. The grace for recovery. I release that grace now over individuals and over families. Over individuals and over families. Individuals who have lost things lost things lost opportunities lost opportunities somebody is recovering an opportunity somebody is recovering something that left you hallelujah the angel of the lord is leading me here there are at least four people this grace for recovery must come upon you i'm seeing at least four people Something you have lost is about to look for you. Something you have lost must look for you. I force it to look for you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you. I told you God answers you by bringing the anointing in your direction. That collision with the anointing is what will program your testimony and all of a sudden you will see strange testimonies happening to you hallelujah I'm seeing a strong man in four families that God is clearing out of the way listen listen I don't say things like this lightly but I'm seeing at least I'm seeing two women and two men who have sat for long on the destinies of people they don't even know they are the ones where are they inside and outside whoever in the name of jesus by the fire of the holy ghost any man sitting on anybody's destiny here you want to rise but they stop you you want to move but they sit on your glory i clear them out of the way now Listen, you should attend a miracle service like this and know that you attended a miracle service. Like this mama, you see that? The devil wants to kill this woman with cancer. Eat her into pieces with cancer and destroy her. Your mother, you are the ones who brought her. Hold the mother and two of you come. You, two of you need deliverance first. Leave mama, come, come and stand. Someone should hold or get a seat for mama to sit. I've prayed for her, but I'm looking. I'm this is this your mother, two of you. I want to pray for you. Eh? What you need, I know you brought your mother to be healed of cancer, but for you, God must heal you first. You will need deliverance. Eh? I'm not saying you are witches, but I have to pray for you. This is the instruction God is giving me. Father, in the name of Jesus, you will not allow these ladies to go down. The way of trouble and sorrow and pain and discouragement therefore i lay my hands on you in the name of jesus fire over every wicked devil in the name of jesus you came to stand in for your mother but satan has his own plan for you in the name of jesus Kai wickedness is real i held these ladies and the lord showed me a vision i'm seeing a man a real herbalist sitting down on the ground and i'm seeing something that looks like a pot they are writing names of people with blood blood not chalk they will write it and throw it inside the pot write it and throw it this is an Igbo family write it throw it inside the pot lord i don't know why you showed me this vision 
but in the name of Jesus I don't care where the family is but in the name of first my first prayer point is that that herbalist must die first in the name of Jesus Christ if you don't like the prayer point say amen to the one you believe but my first prayer point is that the wicked herbalist this is someone's destiny these people are here oh, I'm praying you may not even know you are the one I say it again whoever is that man on the ground writing whose name whether it's your marital destiny whether it's your breakthrough in the name of Jesus let the earth open and swallow that wicked man who say now who say now who say now who is that please let her come please quickly you are who say now what's your name huh? who say now I want to pray for you eh? I'll pray for two of you but you are the one I want to pray for what's your name from where what state are you from you are from FCT do you believe in favor? Shout it. No, you are not shouting. You have shout favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a lot of bad luck for you and your family and this is what God is bringing for you. Favor. Who say now I want to pray for you? You are who say now to madam? Please come. You too? Is it mother and daughter or you are coming by yourself? You are, you are who say now to? I'll pray for you. But this is the lady I want to speak to. You love Jesus? With all your heart, I want to pray for you. God is bringing a major breakthrough for you and your family. Major breakthrough. I lay my hands right now and I command, let it happen right now. In the name of Jesus. Where are you from, my dear? Jalingo. Taraba. In the name of Jesus. The Lord gives you a miracle. Now. In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Every bad luck must live your life now. Eh? Every bad luck must live your life. I lay my hands and I command that spirit to go. This lady, only bad things look for her. There are people like that. When good things come, they just turn. There is a spirit that turns it away. Everybody is getting a job. Something that is simple. When is your turn? Let me tell you something. Hardship is not poverty. Hardship is a spirit. You get things... But something you can get for two weeks will take you four years. It's hardship. It's a cost. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You can't go, give God glory under that kind of condition. Simple things. You ask somebody out, I want to marry you. They answer you after four years. It's a cost. Are you, are you a demon? It's a cost. You start a building project, you finish after ten years. It's not a blessing. A hard life is worse than poverty this is what the devil has put on the life of this lady I, I take it away now in the name of Jesus and I use her as a point of contact if there is anything on anyone's head that is responsible for bad luck happening in the name of Jesus I command whatever it is let the fire of God come upon it now Let me pray for you, man. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon you and I release favor. In the name of Jesus, favor. I'm seeing someone, you are into printing. Please, let's hurry up. We have to stop a few minutes now so that you are into printing. You print like um, posters, whatever it is you design, you print banners. Please, who is that person? I want to pray for you. You are into printing. Uh, I will pray for you. But the person I'm seeing. I'm not saying if you want to do it. If you are currently doing it. You are into it. For how long? Since my, my child was a, I was born into printing. Your father is a printer? Yes sir. Where do you do it? Mina. 
Mina. Yes, from Mina, you came here. I'm serving in Tadzara. Because the person I'm seeing is about to lose a lot of money. This is a contract or project that someone will give you. You will suffer and do it and something will happen and destroy that whole job. And the person will say you must pay. And it's going to cost you hundreds. I don't know. Well, may not be so much money to you, but I'm seeing something. Losses of at least this is a very big project that the person is even angry. I'm seeing something that even has to do with police. Because the person will say that he went and gave the job. All of you are into printing. What are you printing? I'm into printing. What printing? Books, everything in every press. Books. You yes. too. Your dad. All of you. I'll pray for you. You are standing in for somebody. We have to avert this. This time of recession is not the best time to get into trouble with police. Say amen. amen. We want to stop it now. So that whether it's your fault or not, when you are in trouble, you are in trouble. And you see, the way the devourer works is that he will wait just when I'm, I'm soon going to do that prayer. Where things work, just when the miracle is about to happen, something happens and destroys your life. I have to pray for you. Where is your dad? He huh? stays in Abuja. He stays in Abuja. That's where you stay too? Yes. What's your name? Peace. Peace. I want to pray so that we'll stop trouble eh? in the name of Jesus. Daddy, we use your daughter as a point of contact to pray. Every trouble we avert now. You two, you are into the printing. Where? Abu Press. Abu Press. Yes. You work with Abu Press. Yes. Hey, you walk there now, it's not your own. Okay, but I will still pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Grace. The one for Mina, I release you. Eh? Can I pray for businesses? Yes, sir. Can I speak over businesses? Huh? You are into printing? Uh, what's your name? Hassan. 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 You, you, you need to... Um, well, I don't mean to embarrass you, but you are very shabby. Huh? You need to organize your life. You're a smart young man, but you see how you are looking like uh, a thief. You'll be smart when you are coming to the house of God. Listen, when you, people are, when you are coming to the house of God, don't embarrass him. This is a family, but you look smart. You don't dress, you see, no shoes, your hair is scattered, not combed. You look smart. Eh? You are my friend. I want you, it will be difficult for you to progress in life like this. It will be difficult for you to get a good wife like this. It will be difficult for you to get many good things. Appearance is the seed for acceptance. Don't say it doesn't matter. Dress well. The house... Organize his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Organize his destiny. There is a spirit of excellence. Excellence is a spirit. You receive it in Jesus' name. I'll quickly pray for you. Doesn't matter where you're standing. You, you are into printing too. You too. In the name of Jesus, all those into printing, I lay my hands, Pastor Lawrence, grace for you. You will do well. You will get jobs in Jesus' name. There are some of us, what we need now, we are at a point in our lives where humanly speaking, we have paid our price. What you need is favor. And we are going to pray. It. Is that true? Are there people like that here? There are others you have not paid your price. Paying for favor is putting you into trouble. What I need to pray for you for is grace not to be lazy. Laziness is also a spirit. Many of us don't know. It takes a lot of laziness. Um, something is leaving you. That devil must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her go by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are into printing too? In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is somebody you so clothes. You are a serious tailor. But for a long time, this is from April, everything just went down. I don't mean gradually 
down like this it's almost as if please who is that person you are a tailor you sew clothes you are a serious tailor but something just happened i'm seeing the month of april and everything just went down you are the one you sew clothes where Django. who knows you if you are a serious tailor they should know you here who are who, you've sewn people's clothes here Okay, Zango. Yes, there's a shop. I'm what? Sorry. Then what happened? There's a shop. I'm working for somebody. So last month he sent me out and closed the shop for no reason. Last month. Yeah. Um, Close. Okay, I'll pray for you. If you did something wrong and they pursued you, when you come here you ask for mercy. You don't complain. Even if it's my shop and you don't do well, I will drive you. Everybody wants to succeed. So let's, let's be very honest when we are before God. Praise God. When you are before God, if you tell the truth, that's even what will provoke his mercy. You understand? If, you, if, if I employ you, don't be embarrassed, my dear, but if I employ you and you are not bringing me anything and I'm paying you, why won't I downsize and drive you? So don't make it look as if because this person you are saying drove you, I'm not seeing the person as a wicked person. No. Something happened and it's your fault. Eh? You need the mercy of God. And God will help you. Don't make it. You see that if, if it's not revelation now, you will now blame someone else and say that person is wicked. My prayer for you is that God will bless you too. Huh? But please, don't be angry. I'm not seeing that person. That person did exactly what I would have done. Father, in the name of Jesus, show your daughter mercy. If you need mastery, may God improve your skill. May God improve your value. And I pray for you in Jesus' name. God will not leave you hungry. The God we serve will change your story tonight. In the name of Jesus. You experience his mercy, you experience his grace. Madam, you are a tailor. Where? Samaru Market. Samaru. Market. You have your shop? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. You are a good woman, but you are always entering trouble with those you sold their clothes. You don't used to finish on time. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is showing me. Don't be embarrassed. This is a family it may just need you are a very good tailor i'm not i'm not against you don't feel bad i'll say there's some people that's what i'm seeing now yes, and there's problem now they're even angry yes sir because they are supposed to sew something for them for an occasion uh, and you didn't finish and now the person is really angry so these are some of the things we are talking about as god steps in let's allow his mercy just tell them sorry because you i want you would have been far more than you are now but there is a spirit of delay sitting on your glory Hold my hands. He must go now. To draw from you again, again. We've come to draw, 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 draw from you again. Listen, I want you to mark this woman. The kind of favor this woman will enter into from this night will surprise you. I'm saying it in the open. The Lord will give you favor. You are a tailor. Why are you just coming, my brother? We are praying for people here. Father, in the name of Jesus, help our brother to succeed. It's unbelief. If God is calling a case to help people, huh? you come out proudly. You don't stand there. You are ashamed. You understand you are a student and you are doing it you people too you are tailors see the tailors are now coming out we'll pray for your business please all tailors do a good job we believe in excellence don't say I'm praying for you publicly it's not just endorsing you to destroy people's clothes do a good job praise the Lord do a good job and we'll pray for you. There are too many people here. Two school of ministry wants to do their graduation gown. In two weeks, we are graduating our students, 243 students. Imagine that you get the contract to do their gown. If you do a good work, God will honor you. If you do a nonsense work, people will not endorse you just because it's the house of God. Praise the Lord. My brother, you want to study? Where? I'm a student. Oh, you are a student? Yes. Okay. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord grant you grace. God will raise help for you. In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you. 
by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are a tailor. In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you. You need deliverance. I command the spirit. Hi. This lady has oppression in your dream. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the Living God. You didn't come out for Taylor, you came out by the mercies of God. You see what I'm saying? This is the Taylor now. You see what? Let me pray for her, please. I see a wild animal. I'm looking at this lady and I'm seeing. Okay. Lord Jesus, mercy. I command every legal access Satan has over you. When this lady gets angry, she can swallow you. It's not her fault. It's a spirit. Be free now. Look how many people are holding one lady. In the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let me advise you. If you want to enter a relationship, pray. If you want to marry, pray. You Listen to what I'm telling you. You see, the body of Christ, we don't listen. And we do, I'm not saying this lady is a witch. Please don't get me wrong. But I'm saying you should pray. Now, I'm not condemning her. But imagine that you are in a relationship with this lady. And you married last week. You see this? If this lady is angry, that spirit will manifest. No matter how strong you are, she will beat the living daylight out of you. When that spirit leaves her, she will tell you sorry. And then it will come back. This is what God is helping us to solve. Are we together? Now imagine you are a customer and just because you gave her 10,000, you insulted her. When that spirit rises, she will tear your clothes or beat you. Lord Jesus, we invoke your mercy upon her. In Jesus' name. Madam, you are a tailor too? Where? Judge. Judge. I'll pray for you. You are a tailor too? Where? You are in Nazareth State. In the name of Jesus, may God increase you. I speak to your business. Let it increase. Experience increase. Delay lives your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you are in business, please lift your hands. I want to speak over your life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. There is an anointing that makes people prosper. Why are you here? You are tailors. You are all tailors. What do you mean you are tailors? This gentleman, you are a tailor too? Okay, please come. You would have come out since, so that our time, you know, our time. You are all tailors. You are a tailor too? I hope we all know that this is the house of God. Please don't don't tell lies. If you are not a tailor here, I'm, the prayer will reach everybody. If you are not into tailoring, please don't embarrass yourself. If you are into tailoring, leave them, leave them, please. Provided you are, I don't know what is this with God and tailors, but let's pray because God wants to increase you. You look like a tailor. You see, some of you don't look like tailors. You are, you, are not, you are not dressing like tailors. This gentleman is sharp and smart. He looks like a tailor. Ejimi teaches that you represent your brand. If you are a man of God, you show it by the anointing. If you are a tailor, if you are a public speaker, you show it by accuracy of communication. If you are a tailor, you are marketing your products at all times. You don't say, come to my shop. No. If I cannot see your tailoring prowess on you, then I shouldn't patronize you. Father, change the lives of these great people of ours. I'm just going to lay my hands and touch your head. And in the name of Jesus, I pray, may your business step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. As I lay my hands, please go back to your seat. In Jesus' name, that yoke leaves you now. In the name of Jesus, grace for you grace for you grace for you go and increase go and multiply my dear go and increase go and multiply increase madam multiply go and increase go and multiply go and multiply go and increase go and multiply go and increase go and multiply go and increase whether you are a tailor or not, after this people don't come out again. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In the name of Jesus. Go and multiply. Go 
go and multiply in Jesus name if you are in business please any kind of good godly business lift your hands if you are in a bad business repent and do something honorable listen let me mention an example of bad business any business that has to do with smuggling drugs you are a thief you are not in business you stop it I don't care whether you are helping young guys around Samaru connect with a snuff that's not a business are we together there are businesses that are demonic writing exams for people writing jam for people writing I will never pray for you for increase that's not a godly business business that has to do with you having an affair with somebody's husband somebody's wife it's not a good business prostitution not a good business dirty business that has to do with ungodly things no no sir let's be very sincere before God but I pray sincerely from the depth of my heart the power to prosper the grace that can come on a business and turn it around overnight receive that grace right now receive that grace in the name of Jesus listen please I want you to be childlike enough and believe this prayer I'm praying for you and watch what God does some of you you don't have any clients you don't have any customers some of you overnight just by this prayer by miracle service October it will be like a dream I prophesy to you some of you you have the ideas what you need is capital I declare let somebody rise up who is willing to help you in the name of Jesus Christ some of you what you need is an endorsement of someone credible in your field so that it will open doors for you may someone who has gone ahead of you accredit you in the name of Jesus Christ some of you are trying to sell properties there's nobody to buy but if someone comes to buy it God will use it to honor you I call somebody to buy it now in the name of Jesus now I prophesy favor on everyone I decree and declare tonight the main auditorium overflow one two three those following online the kind of favor you have never seen in your life may my God make it happen in your life now receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Esther the village girl became Esther the queen through favor Ruth the hungry woman who was about to die became Ruth the wife of Boaz I don't know who I'm prophesying to but the favor that would change your story in one month I release it to you right now I release it to you right now in the name of Jesus Christ help that woman there please there are people from January till now you have never testified it's not that you don't want to come out but nothing has happened I stand before the God of heaven and I decree and declare may my God do something in your life that will force you to come and testify in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare I don't know what door has closed between you and your next level you have been knocking for a long time and that door has refused to open I open that door for you right now I open that door for you right now any terminal disease ravaging anyone's body you get healed right now two weeks you are back again you get healed three weeks you are back again I set you free right now help that I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ the only thing you know that happens in your family is fight and quarrel no love no joy when someone is about to rise a troublemaker comes I declare 
May the Prince of Peace May the Prince of Peace step into our homes now Step into our families now You are beautiful, you love God You are a well-mannered lady, no husband Jakotos kaparakata Skalabata kato sata priyata Sheketo koto priyata I'm led to pray this prayer. You don't hear me pray it all the time, but I decree and declare. Every lady here, ready for a relationship, a godly one, I call your husband to your life now. Every gentleman who wants to marry but no job, no money, the devil is... You. The devil is using lack of finances to rubbish your life in the name of Jesus. The God that can lift a man from a dunghill. May that God lift our brothers here right now. Any project you started this year that you were hoping to have completed by now and as it is you need a miracle I release the finisher's anointing upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. All those writing exams. Shakatos kata prati alakatos. In the name of Jesus. The grace. To not only write your exams. But to finish well. I release it upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. All our, our brothers and sisters who travel from several places to write post UME. In the name of Jesus, we give you admission here. I don't care who you know or who you don't know. We give you admission here now. Hallelujah. School of Ministry students are writing their exams by 9 o'clock tomorrow. In the name of Jesus, grace for retention. Receive it. There are other people writing promotion exams. Others, there are, we have a lot of postgraduate students doing their PhD work, research, you know, their thesis, whatever it is. Anything that has refused to come to completion in your life, I, re I release upon you grace for completion. In the name of Jesus. The last prayer point and we are done. Give me two minutes. I need to pray for our spiritual lives. Some of you started well with God, but right now you need prayers. You need serious prayers. Prayer zero. Fasting zero. Word life zero. Passion for the things of God zero. You are not bad, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. The fire. The Bible says the spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord. The fire that must come upon the candle of your destiny. Sokoto Pakata. From the main hall here overflow one overflow two overflow three take a fresh fire for your work with god take a fresh fire for your work with god hear me some of you the moment you open your bible it's as if something happens and you close it back it's not normal i decree and declare passion for the word of god receive it right now some of you used to pray seriously you even used to attend the, the weekly prayer department meeting but things happen you were offended with God and several things happen in your life and you say I'm, I've been praying but I've not seen result and you stop I release upon you grace to go back grace to go back to the prayer altar grace to go back to the prayer altar grace to go back to the prayer altar hear me those of you who as you are seeking money you are forgetting god as you are seeking marriage you are forgetting god it's not that you want to do so life is pushing you away from god whatever is drawing you away from god i cost that thing now listen 
we are rounding up God and prosperity can go hand in hand God and marriage can go hand in hand whatever must make you leave God to get it is of the devil may it live your life forever now keep your hands lifted the last prayer point God is looking for men and women of the spirit simple one minute prayers that will change your life now lift your hands I want to pray for something to come upon these hands listen mm. there must be an evidence if you belong to this ministry this is a supernatural ministry this is a ministry of signs wonders diverse manifestations I will not end this meeting without this impartation I'm praying now at the count of three let an unction let an ancient mantle land on someone's hand one two three take it now healing anointing take it now prophetic mantle take it now grace for signs and wonders receive it may your hands become healing hands may your hands become miracle hands deliverance hands favor hands hear me the grace to win souls like never before i know it's old school i'm both old and new school depending on the one that does not work soul winning is never old school the bible says he that winneth souls is wise i pray for you grace for a dimension evangelism through signs and wonders receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now the last prayer for you the mantle of honor the grace that distinguishes a man above his contemporaries i lay my hands on my head and i prophesy to you carry that anointing right now carry that anointing right now experience strange levels of honor in the name of jesus father we give you all the praise every expectation you brought here whether i mentioned it or not i'm agreeing with you now within 24 hours let your miracle start within 24 hours let your miracle start those of you who came from far before you get to where you came from you will collide with miracle after miracle testimony after testimony hallelujah if there is anyone here in ministry a man of god a woman of god you have a fellowship you have a church i pray for you the fire that is here carry it back to your church carry it back to your fellowship carry it back to your place of ministry in the name of jesus christ hallelujah wave your hands and give jesus praise thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus hallelujah everyone keep standing you are here our time is gone everyone please stand you are here you are worshiping with us for the first time overflow one overflow two and inside this is your first time please make your way here overflow three just make your way to the front of your projector stand and look at me let's honor them koinonia quickly hallelujah praise the lord please keep standing two minutes we are done let's honor them they are coming may god bless all of you who continually invite people to come listen let me tell you one truth i am very honored to have the privilege to lead this campaign of bringing the reality of the power and the presence of God to people. 
when you invite people you don't necessarily make a ministry bigger yes you increase them in numerical strength but the truth about it is that you are giving people an opportunity to have encounters hallelujah for all of you who take out time to invite people may the god i serve bless you clear the way for them as they come hallelujah dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye